<laughs> oh man. Especially if it was like just like a K cup or something simple. That's that's two minutes. Man. Man. K cup. It's Keurig. K the letter and then cup dash cup. Uh, music streams up. <laughs> She's just laughing. That's not, that's not an answer. What is, what, what is that supervillain like? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 no! I need to kill it this week still. That's what we brought the fish out of this. Not like fish sticks. Alright. You'd fuck a fish stick. <laughs> they said you're kinda weird about fish. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Which? <gasps> the salmon is so good. Oh um, no, Rico, yeah. you say salmon too? <laughs> salmon, salmon. salmon. Uh, is that not how you say it? Salmon. My girlfriend says salmon. salmon. It drives me nuts. Isn't that salmon? <laughs> the, L, the L is salmon. Salmon. <laughs> Look, is that how you say it? I know no, it's just salmon. 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 You say salmon? Yeah, it's salmon. Yeah, why the fuck would you put it out there? It's, it's English. English. It's English. It's stupid. I just salmon. Just because we just can. For, just because, because we won the war. I'm going to call it salmon. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> salmon. <laughs> Whatever war it was that they decided that, we probably were in it and we probably won it, so it's salmon. Oh, okay. Salmon. Oh, my God. Sal salmon. We're a fucking like war machine. Salmon. What up? That legendary or flavor. Hey, legendary guy, um, before we start, um, how do you neighbor. say the word salmon? S salmon. 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 Sounds well, like you're saying Solomon, but with we're gonna an speed a. run yeah. your. We're gonna Sal speed run your bin if you fucking say salmon. <laughs> salmon. Yes, sir. Welcome. Wait, where is the you are home. In, in roll twenty chat. Oh, they say it's okay. salmon, salmon, just so you know. Bomb. Salmon. Bomb. 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 Now you Bomba. understand. Yeah. <laughs> they called me Mr. Bombastic. Ass full of chapstick. That's not the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong. Listen to the song. What lyrics? He's talking about himself. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't singing. But that's, they call me Mr. Bombastic, and my ass is currently... Filled with yeah, chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> and salmon. <laughs> Anyways, all back to I I don't I don't I'm not weird about fish, you're weird about fish because you said salmon tastes fishy, which is dumb. I respect you. But that's where we're at. <laughs> Did you really say yes. that salmon is fishy? Like was that your reason for Deny it. Like Deny that. it here in front of God in the world. Do it. See if your heart can take it. God will strike <laughs> I you. I don't like salmon. Okay, that's not the yeah, question. That's not the question. Hold on. I think it tastes too salty. That's not what you said. I don't like That is the not what you said. <laughs> I don't like the texture. And? It's fishy. Oh. <laughs> how, how is it too salty? It has no salt in it until you salt it. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even Don't think about that. tell you about it's a, that one. It's most of the time a freshwater fish. Most of the time. Most of its lifespan. It just goes out to the ocean no. to fucking spawn. No, it actually no, it spends in to spawn. The That's spawn. the other way around. It yeah, spends most way. of its life in the ocean. Uh, uh, the Hugo. It doesn't absorb salt, though. Hugh. Hugo. Either way, I don't like salmon. Who says Hugo? Uh, it depends on where you're from. Well, we're going to fight those people. Back to war. Yeah, those people are wrong. Uh... My teacher's name is Hugo. Back to war. He's from Mexico. <laughs> That's the way it's pronounced. Wait, his name is Drink? 
We beat him in the middle no, of the war. No, just juice. It's <laughs> juice. <laughs> Go, give, me, give me the juice. Can we play the game before? No, it's my juice. ADHD kicks off. <laughs> sure. We're just going to keep shitting, uh, fucking around until it's raid time. Okay? That's the whole oh, yeah. session tonight. Hey, when is raid time for you guys? And 9.30. 9.30, okay. So that's, it's four hours and 15 minutes from now. So you, at 1 a.m. then, holy shit. For you. Damn. 9.30 for me. Because Damn. I'm Damn, because you're on the west, fucking west <laughs> coast. Real time. Yeah, yeah the right. real time over God. here. Damn. Oh, time you know why you can't tell? Because I am uh, currently hidden. <laughs> Lex, you're hidden too. Do you want to be unhidden? I don't care. Okay. There we go. I had me and Lex hidden uh, from voice chat. All right. So, where are we? Uh, hi. 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 Hello. My name's Chris, and I'm a D&D holic. <laughs> hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Someone please set me free. I'm. Being held captive by my players. Uh, that was a natural one. You're going to be here for a little bit longer. Hmm. All right. So, where we last left off, you guys had done a bunch of miscellaneous things within Falakir during a two-week downtime, doing miscellaneous crafting, purchasing of things, and even entering into a special sporting arena called the Captor Arena, where you earn money by capturing creatures and putting them back behind bars. Uh, much to Luce's um, <laughs> great despair and <laughs> extreme distress using the, the speak with animals spell during the entirety of it, which was probably mistake. a bad idea in retrospect. It was a bad idea. <laughs> it's like going to a sushi restaurant where they're like having <laughs> a fresh fish and then casting speak with fish. But, speak you know, I wonder what the crabs still... are saying while they're being. Does grilled. speak with animals the count thing. for the lobster? fish? Probably. Yeah, animals. Can't me. <laughs> End the suffering. Oh, it's no. so hot. Why am I dying? Like. God damn it. Is this hell? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh no. Yeah, we end. We end the two week downtime on the tenth of Madro, and all of you preparing for the next leg of whatever you decide to do, which I have no fucking clue what that is. Oh, God. You know what that is? A dragon? So, what do you all want to do? Yeah. Find a dragon. It's dragon, right? It's, it's we go find, uh, Vizalunti. I remember names. He's Italian. I almost said Zimbabwe, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't have an Italian accent, I'm going to be pissed. A joy -Z accent. Here. A joy -Z accent. Uh, that is not a joy -Z. <laughs> Get in the cab. Does not have Jersey people talk. Both that is Jim Tam Laundry. Jersey. Get in the cab, joy -Z. Enrique. Enrique. Yeah. Enrique. Yeah. I, there are I'm three just, people from Jersey here. I'm an oddity, though. Like I'm an oddity. I, would, I don't count towards that. You it's fucking. You're a shut in, Rika. No, because I, <laughs> I look. I say salmon. Okay, I'm already out of the mark. All the right? term is hermit, by the way. <laughs> I think I shutting might be problematic. But... It's oh, that's sage. You know, sage. Oh, that's a nice way to put it. Anyway, we're here to find a dragon. I think. <laughs> Chris, are you? Yeah. No. I'm... <laughs> We're good. Nothing. I don't like that. He's walking no. here. I, re I remembered Cody streaming, and I don't want to say what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'll put a problematic warning up. I'll flash it real quick. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, now say whatever you're going to say. You can't cancel us for the next 20 seconds. Go. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> say All whatever right, you so. want. 20 seconds. Go. I don't even want to make the joke. <laughs> whatever you want, Chris. You can say no, whatever comes to your Chris, tiny don't do little it. heart. Chris, don't, do it. don't make the joke. Don't, don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. Don't make the joke. 20. All right, we're, we're back. No. Uh, yeah, so you, what do you guys want to do at the end of your two week stint of downtime? The 10th of Madro, 171 post, or no, 
uh, Primordial Recursion PR. What did Nas <laughs> say about how to find a dragon? Go, go where it smells, was it? I don't remember. Where it's like rotting or something? He said, rotting. go east until you smell rot. Okay, And then smell close rot. the door so... in your face. Yes. So we is... just go east. We should probably... Do we have anything to pay at the hotel? The oh, oh, we already, motel? We already paid. Yeah, we paid the Holiday Inn? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was the... the um... Isar looks up at the sign. What does it say? Hammer and... Which one? Wait, which sign? The sign to the inn that they're currently doing. Oh, uh, Bows and Yield. Wrong. He can't read it. It's not in common. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking got it! <laughs> oh, gotcha to start the day off. You didn't say, what does Isar see? Oh, you said, true, true, what true. does it say? <laughs> I told you what it says. Oh, wow. He got you Double back. got him. Oh, shit. I don't know how to recover from this. Well, actually, if you think about it, actually, bit longer, <laughs> no, no, we're not bringing, we're not bringing back Benjamin. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing that this session. Oh my goodness! No, no, it's our Shapiro. Is it really can't hurt? You. <laughs> um, yeah, Luz, Luz is kind of looking at the town wistfully and looking back at the cave direction that they came from. Our we sure we have to spend so much time down Help here? Us. Help us. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've had a, we've had a full day to um to relax and everything, right? And like we've recover. Had three days. Three okay. Days. Yeah. Yeah. Lose it. Lose it. Since the arena. Lose is looking at the arena and is very much like. Lose, I know how you feel. Why well, don't? They just want to be don't... free. Yes, but what what does freedom mean? Down here? Freedom means killed by the guards that now patrol at night because they are raptors <laughs> in a it, cave. They are far from home. There's no. It sounded like they'd rather die. I mean, we can manage that if if you would like. I, no, I don't want to do. That, please. They were only locked behind a cage you. that we could shoot not... through the bars. It... No, I. Would you like to put them out? How about how about after after we do what we need to do and we have lots and lots down, there, we'll come back and we'll we'll buy those raptors and bring them to their natural habitat. How does that sound? It would ruin the economy here. I mean, we could just. Uh, oh, do you want to set free no, all of the animals? No, I just, or just think the we should go. <laughs> I'm just saying this is probably the best chance because we're probably not coming back to follow here anytime soon. So if we do break, want to break the law here, now's the time to do it. And we can walk by. I'll, we can just shoot them real quick. Alita's no. got stuff, and I can shoot. I will. I will say we don't really know any other way to the surface than the way we came. Yeah, I don't think we should burn. This bridge might be the only bridge out. We're kind of on a plateau right now, as okay. far as we know. Right, so we'll kill him on the way out. We talked to the uh, or... Bizzle team and Luz, on the way out. Or, or like, him. is trying to hold herself together, taking breath. On the way back, instead of killing them, why don't we take them with us? I don't know how. Well, they're going to have a, a a hate thing versus Audia for all the wrongdoings. Yeah, but I mean, Luz can... them with food. Luz can probably smooth that over. I mean, she could talk to them. Can you turn allegedly. into one? Can you turn into one? I heard that some druids can like turn into stuff. You haven't... Maybe, maybe if you turned into one, it would... Luz, are you there? Luz is going through Luz is, her role Luz, Luz is animals. about to say, no, I can't. <laughs> it's going to be oh. fucking hilarious. No, I I can. Um, Ooh. I just don't it's think it would be very convenient. No, definitely not. Audio ran through those things like paper. They don't seem very strong. I, I think they're stronger in a, a pack. 
that's that was the thing. Kind of behaved like wolves. So are we Go saving in. them or or I think, I think we're I think we're good. We'll we'll, we'll go talk to Vizalunti and then we'll come back and figure out if we want to save them on the way out or not. Yeah, let's um, let's do that. Okay, or kill him. All right, this like... let's go east. Uh, Dealing yes. herself. On we that, go east. On that note, does anyone else have any clearer clues than smell? Go east until we east. smell rot. Rot. That's it. That's all we Audia. have. That's all we have. You... I, I try. I tried, and he gave me a wand. Did you figure out what that does? Yes. What does it do? It identifies magical objects. Oh, that's useful. That's useful. How many? She Four times. Weird thing. Four times a day, and then it'll four need times. to recharge. It'll need to recharge. We, we're not going to find more than four items in a day. No, no, it couldn't happen. <laughs> Seems like loot's kind of scarce around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I suppose then we head east, wherever that How means. How can you even tell what direction anything is down here? There's no stars. What, do, does the does the compass work like a no. compass or oh? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey Luz. No. <laughs> hey, Luz. Did you ever use that scroll? Wait, I actually, yeah. I might have a compass, actually. <laughs> you did I have an it? actual compass. Okay. No, I haven't. I was planning to copy it before I used it, so that oh. way we could at least do it once more. Or... Gotcha. I was just kind of curious about Micah, but sorry. We'll figure it out once you get it copied. I'm sure he can wait. Isler makes a face. Luz looks up like horrified <laughs> that she has a thought of. No, we have priorities. We'll talk to Vizalunti. We'll save the Raptors, and then maybe we'll think about possibly talking to Micah in the Nine Hells. Oh. If we do those in order, that Buddy, order we should do? be fine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> one getting tortured, and the other one is All Micah right. living his best life in the Nine Hells. And the other one's Vizalunti. Uh, hmm. It doesn't know I, what I to do, say. I do think we should try and do something about Micah, like, relatively soon. I don't think it's a good place, the Nine Hells. I can't imagine. That's rude. It doesn't sound like a good place. Why? Because of the people, that, because of the people that live there, Asar? <laughs> you have a problem with it because of the people that live there, Asar? There's a never-ending war between the Infernals and the Abyssals down there. You don't think there could be good places down there? We saw a giant demonic hand come out of a portal and rip our friend. My hand's kind of de demonic. Not as giant, but... Your hand is pink. I, I wouldn't say it's demonic. The realm... The retining. The realm is home to the luring avarice. Because it's pink doesn't mean... What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? Hold on, what? <laughs> The god, where the god that... of the, the nine hells, the luring Oh, avarice. okay. I was like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> That's oh. probably not too good considering Micah's headspace when he was taken. Like, if oh. we're just being honest here. Oh, is he going to be corrupted? I... Oh. They're good at that, too. We're, we're good at... They're good at that. Are, am I... You're, you're, uh, you're, do you're, I count? You're mortal. You're I mortal. Don't think no, count. you don't. It's you don't count. What's going on here? Adia's gonna look. Cloud doesn't like tiefling. Cloud doesn't like. Sorry, doesn't like tiefling. Who's Cloud? <laughs> Adia's looking at her compass. Which way is east? <laughs> east is east. Believe it or not. Ooh. Yeah, surprisingly. Okay. Adia starts heading off. Wait, did you have that real compass the whole time? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Oh, is there I... something odd? We didn't need it. it... We had Alita's it's just... compass. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> why was this a prob why is it, this a problem? It probably it wasn't just, it just feels like one. It's not. It feels like a problem. Yes, thank you. With all the other it stuff feels that was like going a, on with it's compasses. not a problem. It's not a problem. It's just like one of those things it's like Oh man, I wish we had water in the desert and then somebody pulls out a jug of water. Or like a jug of like soda or something. Like soda water. 
Like it's not the same thing, but it's close. What soda? Should probably get moving. It's like Adi bubbly water. walking off. <laughs> like Whoever. Really? Yeah, kind of. Alita, Alita will join you and drag Luz along. We had it at the, at the pork place. Oh, yeah, the... one that made my like throat feel like Bernie without Bernie? Yeah, yeah, it's all bubbly. Fantasy Mountain. We should go back there. <laughs> I mean, I will probably pass through there again, right? Oh, if, sure. Assuming we actually return looks at uh, Alita... Assuming we actually, you know, return the battery, are we are we it. returning the battery? Everyone else is just down the street at this point. <laughs> yeah, we're we're moving on. We're moving. I assume this is a walk and talk. Oh, definitely. Yes. Okay. Isar Isar did not stop to talk, <laughs> and then did we tell him we burned down that warehouse? We didn't. Excuse me. Burn it. Yeah, we did. It was it was a small. No, we didn't. I, I threw a firebomb in it. You, you mentioned threw the case of three arson. flasks of oil into a kitchen. That counts. It did not burn down. <laughs> they put out the fire. It was a distraction. We know they put out the fire because he told us the next day. Oh, okay. But we might be able to go back there if you... And then burn it down. <laughs> I mean, if he, if he has another job for us, maybe, maybe they did the learn job. the Yeah. Oh, if that black rot's still on the ground... Absolutely. <laughs> Eastbound we go. Oh. Yeah, you guys head off eastbound <clears throat> into the deeper reaches of the Underdark, heading away from the city of Falakir and continuing your journey. How is the uh, light levels as we like the city? Here. As you leave the city, it starts to get dimmer, but you're still within, at least on the first day of travel, within the of bioluminescence. Uh, bioluminescent areas, yeah. You gonna light a bald little torch? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> a bald <laughs> torch? Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm gonna cast light on Isar's pants? <laughs> why, why, why do you fixate on my pants with the light? You could do a gauntlet. You could, do, you could light up my torch. And then I could save torches and still hold it. How many times are you going to lose your pants in battle in the dark? You're not. <laughs> That's a good point. It's just logic. At I that wouldn't point. lose my gauntlet. Like, I'm why good. does it have to be my pants? You won't lose your pants. It's also really when... funny if you get stuck in a wall because your pants were the only thing visible and it was glowing. That was funny. It was funny. Adia's Adia's tracking the way they're going. By the way, on like drawing drawing a small rudimentary map as they're walking along, so they don't get too lost. Okay. But yeah. um, make a cartography tools check. Uh, what should I use for? Uh, intelligence. Intelligence. Okay. And proficiency. Intelligence. Nineteen. Yeah, you were able to sketch the path that you're taking, keeping track of any diversions from the original direction that you were going whenever an unexpected cavern or turn turns up. And you continue heading eastward to the best of your ability. After a day's travel, you start to enter into sort of frozen areas. They start to get cold as you continue to move e more eastward. You definitely feel a chill start to enter the air. The colors become muted. They're still bioluminescence, but it is deep blues and sort of teal greens, very much an icy feel to it as you head further to the east. It, isn't it supposed to be starting to smell like rot? Why is it so cold? I, I mean, I would assume we'd have to go past this. This could just be a new bio, I guess. But you uh, finish your travel for the day before oh. you need to bed down as you get into the further reaches of... It's getting cold. It's getting very cold. It's starting to feel like winter in uh, Arthras. Mm. Cool. Why... Ooh. Why is this so it's been cold? a while since we felt this cold. 
Like, is this a... Can Adia figure out if this is like a natural cold or... Make a nature check. Oh, I have dice this time. Oh, okay, that's a that's an eleven <laughs> in total. Given oh, oh, weird. Oh. Uh, given the stark contrast and change, it could be either that the natural heat that or the phenomenon heat being given off by the remnants of life of and fey energy are fading the further you get away and how deep you are underground but oh. it seems like it's probably a bit too cold for it to just be a lack of source of heat it seems like there's probably something causing the cold as well whether it's natural or not you're not entirely sure hmm. is it still clear visibly or is there like a, a fog or anything it, there's a fog insofar as when it's cold out and, you know, the, like, condensation and the, okay. uh, of your breath and just of high, uh, heat being higher up and then mixing with the cold that's lower down, creating kind of a haze. Are there any, um, uh, crystals or metal or anything? Would... You're surrounded by rock. You can make a, uh, a check and look for any, like, veins if you'd like. Star, does anything look usable here, or? Either crystals yes, or anything. We'll look around for anything that meets that criteria. Eileen will assist. Make a Mason Tools check. Can I assist With by pulling what, shit out? Uh, Do you have any sort of proficiency in things related to stone, gemstone, rock? Religion. Metal. <laughs> Religion. <laughs> I actually believe uh, Eileen, I wrote this in the backstory, Eileen is a... Um, Believer in the, the rock, guy. rock church. Are you proficient in nature? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So okay. You, you uh, cannot assist what, them. But I can what point am I, shiny shit out. What am I adding to it? This will be... Hmm. The natural 18, so... No. It, it'll either be drawn from your knowledge or your experience, so either wisdom or intelligence, your choice. I would go wisdom, then. Uh, so that would be... 624 total. 24. Very nice. Uh, you start to see deposits of a dark purple color, kind of just veins throughout the walls, and you recognize them as amethyst. Ooh. Uh, our would point that out and then begin trying to uh, extract some of Abigail. Yeah, Abigail. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Do you want me to do another Mason check for extracting it? Um, no, that's okay. Uh, you are able to trace along the walls and find a spot where you feel like a lot of the veins converge, and you start to pick away at the walls. It's going to take some time uh, yeah, if anybody I'm... else wants to do any other stuff. Would you like me to shoot it? Saying... <laughs> no, no, that's not understood. It's not how you know. Thank you, though. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, we're no. setting up camp here, right? To rest for the night, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Right then. Should we have? Should we set up watches? Yeah. And a fire. And a fire for sure. Yes. Yes. It is very cold. I'm very floofy, but dude, this is too cold. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to burn? Because there is not really any plant life or matter here other than rock and stone. And I have torches. Stuff. Does the yeah. engine put off heat? <laughs> it does not. I mean, does anyone Hold on, have... I might have some. Hmm. Oh, I have a spell. Oh, wait, I, I, spell. I definitely have stuff. Um, yeah, we have like, yeah, prestidigitation. <laughs> prestidigitation lights things on fire. It does not give you things to burn. Oh, okay, I have so torches. Need something to burn. <laughs> okay, I mean... I yeah, torches. I have however many torches come in explorers back i think hold, 10 hold hold i can i, I can have, i have hey. heat metal guys no <laughs> chill i can make some plant we'll burn the tents <laughs> burn everything can i, a torch, can I use, a torch can only burn for one hour can i use druid craft to to make, make firewood yeah to well not necessarily firewood but like uh handful of 
Uh, you create a tiny sensory effect, predicts weather, the effect might be blah, blah, blah. You instantly make a flower blossom, seed pod open, or leaf bud bloom. Right. Instantly harm a sensory puff of wind, instantly light or snuff a candle. You can't actually create plant matter. Ugh. Okay, mm -hmm. well then I can um, use a spell and make plants grow. <laughs> If there are existing plants, you can like cause them to bloom, but you can't yeah, actually yeah. create plants. Okay, that that doesn't let me create plants either. God damn it! I'm a what am I good for if I'm a druid? <laughs> Not killing plants and setting them on fire, maybe. Can I can I use the entangle spell? Because it but says grasping great. weeds and vine sprout ground. Yeah. It doesn't say. Uh, it only lasts for one minute though. Collect this. Oh well, it doesn't I guess it's a. Then they just go away. Right? Yeah. I mean, we can just stack the torches up in like a teepee type thing, and then just light them. One hour for each I one. Mean, Not bad. I mean, I, we I might don't... need it later though. Did <laughs> who needs torches? Later? Oh, do you have the plant growth spell prepared, or? Yeah, but there's no plant life here. Hmm. And that 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 only. I was just reading it says it channels vitality into plants within a specific area all normal plants yeah, become if you cast it over overgrown, eight hours then you enrich or... the land yeah so yeah it is quite cold well oh, I, I, I guess we just huddle for warmth because we don't have a good solution here I think I can probably heat up a pot or something. We could coil the rope, like a 50-foot rope, and light it on fire, and it'll just kind of track along like a snake. We could take Isar's armor and cast metal on it. <laughs> oh! No. <laughs> I suppose I don't have much purpose for my old anymore we could use that as a sword no 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 I have no. torches I think God, guys, <laughs> I was joking. I'm pretty sure I t I have 10 torches too yeah we have plenty of torches let's just do torches let's just use torches let's do like two at a time or something so that we have at least have a sizable fire okay so you're you have 16 torches total I have 10 Luz has 10 I have 10 I don't have torches <laughs> um how fast do you think I have five pounds of frab fabric Fabric. Oh, but fabric you, will depending on the burn fabric. Fast, right? You you, you also you need those, don't you, for the medicinal? Fabric bandages? will burn pretty quick. I don't know where they. Yeah, I don't no. imagine that lasts long. Okay, then I'm not gonna use them. Let's we'll use torches. Yeah. Okay. We Mark are... off sixteen torches for the night. <laughs> we are very unprepared. <laughs> uh, eight and eight loose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Two torches. Uh, what are the watches that you're setting up? Isar can do first one since he was doing amethyst stuff anyways. Takes. And are you guys setting up tents or are you just sleeping out on the ground? Uh, uh tent would probably help with the cold a little bit. Yeah. Uh, don't have yeah. a tent, have a bedroll. Yeah, I, I have a bedroll. I think we don't have tents. Oh, it's yeah, you're right. Yeah. I only have a bedroll. Yeah. Oh, we don't have tents. tent. Lead is the only one with a tent. <laughs> Why do you have a tent? Do you have a tent? I, ha I had it to hide myself, so you guys didn't oh. see that I didn't sleep. So their hinges don't freeze. I believe a tent can have two people in it. You could take. We could take turns. <laughs> How do you just cover probably in probably probably you need a tent. Yeah, whoever whoever's sleeping in the tent would definitely have more um, insulation from the cold. Did I cast warding? Isar, Isar doesn't need a tent. He'll be okay. Eileen will be fine as well. Lita doesn't sleep. I need a tent. <laughs> I, I want the tent. The tent. No, okay. I probably need. Luz and I will cuddle up. I'm, I'm, I am floofy. Yes. <laughs> I am. I'm great for warmth. <laughs> in the we'll tent. A floof. Thank you. Okay. So, oh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take... watch order. Asar, oh, Luz, Eileen, and then. Either Alita or Audia. Audia. Um, and during the period of time that 
either I'm out of the tent or Audie is out of the somebody else. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll know when someone's getting too cold and they could just go dip in because, yeah. I'll be, yeah, I'll be floofy. <laughs> I'll be floofy. Okay. Um, yeah, you keep your watch throughout, watches throughout the night. Uh, those of you who are keeping watches, make a perception check for me. Oh. All of us? Or just... Natural yeah. one. Really? Yeah. Really? With the heavy dice. Not, not uh, that dice tonight. 16 total for Isar's first watch. Okay. Seven. <laughs> I got 10. I got 10. <laughs> Guys. Okay. Doing our um, best. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. I'd like all of you to make me a Constitution saving throw. Okay. Oh, it's chilly. Do okay. I have advantage That's because I have fur? low as fuck. <laughs> oh. Your DC is lower because oh. you're for oh, okay. goodness. Isar, that is God. a thirteen. Sixteen for Eileen. Oh, okay. Ooh, that is not great. Uh, that is My, a nine for Alita. Minus 20, thirteen. I have 21. thirteen. Uh, Alita, you get one point of exhaustion. <gasps> great. Oh, that sucks. So you all wake up the next day on the eleventh of Madro, and uh, Alita, you feel like your joints are a little bit frosted, a little bit slow moving as you w wake up from your stasis, a little bit chilled to the to the gears, if you will. I fucking love that it's called stasis. <laughs> but you all awaken on the 11th of Majora and still frigidly cold. Okay. I need to I cast light on Isar's pants. Um, <laughs> Isar just shakes his head. Um. Every day, Luz just smacks a sar in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Walking by, minding his business. Bah! No, no, no. Luz just walks by and just very carefully just goes poke on the side of your thigh. It's like a oh. cat, like going to hit like a bottle of water that's on the edge of like a countertop. Just... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, Christmas music. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Haunted Christmas do you live through? <laughs> I know. I'm like, what? Okay, but I'm I'm just making sure. Freak is like my... Krampus Hold is on. coming. Yeah! <laughs> that that is me. a <laughs> So well, you guys want to continue traveling? Yeah. Did Asar get any amethyst? Yeah. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Ameth, uh, you are able to get... Okay, uh, you're able to get 150 gold worth of Amethyst. The fuck? That's a lot. <laughs> I, I max rolled on that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's awesome. You go get your amethyst. Uh, okay. It is very clear cut. There seems to be very few impurities as you are taking it out of the wall. You're very carefully carving it so that not to break uh, the chunks at bad spots and lessen the value and, you know, like make chips and stuff. And you're able to get pretty uh, intact, full, cohesive piece of pretty clear cut amethyst. Wow. Yeah, this our, uh, shows it to uh, everybody. I'm oh, glad we didn't shoot this vein. Quite this impressed. is, yeah, really, really prime stuff. I'm glad we. What found did it. you want it for? Um, I'm gonna use it as a focus, or at least try to, and then I was gonna cut off a shard and give it to Luz for their their pretty hair. Oh, well, thank you. Whatever that thing is. Yeah, yeah. Isar will just throw it in the bag of holding. Everything. Oh, okay. I'll mark that. Make sure. Yeah, make sure I write that. Lee looks okay. a little crankier than usual. <laughs> She, she. You uh, you you doing all right there? You look a little Lita? rusty. I... Cast heat metal on her. <laughs> I know we <laughs> talked about that. But... We have any WD forty. 
for a warmer What's WD forty? Lube. Grease. <laughs> oh, you can cast grease though. Can you, In character. Can you what, what is WD? No, no, no. I, it has to be non. I can heat up. I can heat up objects. Lava, lava, lava. Yeah, you, you can't use prestidigitation to warm yourself up. You could warm your clothes up, but yeah, you can't well, my... do it on, like directly onto yourself. Oh, yeah, I was gonna good. try to yeah. do it to Alita. Yeah. Yeah, Alita but... was already doing that to herself, trying to yeah. get something. Yeah, you can keep casting it on your clothes while you're traveling to just you know get a little burst of warmth every once in a while. Yeah, that's what Adi will be doing at least. Right. She's mapping everything. Hey, are we going to be able to smell rot when it's freezing? Or if the rot's frozen? Because I feel like that I would did... stop the smell, right? I did wonder about Oh, that. how did uh, freezing days so. smell for us in Artris? Chris? Uh, you could still smell rot if you were outside the city. It, inside of the city, it wouldn't be. But if you were out in the field and there were dead things, even though it was cold, you'd still smell the rot. I think we'd still smell it. Okay. Somewhat. We'll keep our nose open. Um, yeah. You guys continue to travel. Anybody doing anything particular while you're going? I'm still mapping the place as we're going. Okay. Nothing. All right. Nothing. Make no, no. a cartographer tools check for me again. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, you continue traveling, and the depth of the cold becomes deeper, uh, becomes even more frigid, and you begin to smell the faintest hints of rot. Ew. As you see the color start to change even more so pale, you see uh, a lot of the color, other than whites and blues, begin to fade. Darkness begin to take the space more so, without any bioluminescence, and becomes much more ominous in feel and tone. Oh, it's really but strict. you could you uh, complete your travel for the day as you get into a space that is a frigid, icy cavern that you're traveling through now, and it very much smells of the rot that you were told of. Lovely. You I can think... see in some of the uh, walls there are blocks of ice. You can see dead creatures just frozen up against the walls that have seemed to have been there for long periods of time, just frozen within the, the uh, permafrost. I think we found the right place. Seems like we're getting close. The, uh, what did we ever hear? What type of dragon Bizalunti was? Topaz dragon. Topaz? Okay. Are Topaz cold? Uh, no, they are necrotic in nature. Oh. But where you want to keep dead things is probably in the ice. I mean, think yes. about like Rhymes Claim, right? From home? Rhymes Claim? Yes. Hmm. They didn't seem to mind the cold too much. When when looking at the things frozen in the ice, did they seem like they were like taken by surprise? Or did they seem like they, they just died and then they just eventually got run iced over? Um, make a medicine check. Oh gosh, okay. Yep, alright. Okay. That's a 14. A lot of them are... They look like they simply died from cold and were oh. just frozen over. Oh. Uh, it doesn't look like there was a sudden like blast that froze them into statues or anything like that. It looks like things simply just died here and the remains were left. They don't look like they're, a lot of them are like perfectly clean, like they were probably picked at or eaten by other predators or scavengers around the area and then frozen over time. So they're, they're not full up bodies that are perfectly preserved or anything. Okay. Hmm. Do you think the Vizalunti will have guards of the sort as we get closer. I'm just asking this in general. 
No, I, I don't Lose. think so. He wouldn't need protection, would he? But I mean, he's a dragon. Doesn't he also like... Solitude? He likes to keep Ed... pets. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Maybe. Mm. But I mean, we're here on we're here on business. It'd be strange for them to just outright attack, what? right? I I don't know if he has that. Direction. What are we going to say to him? Who's leading this? Is Luz, are you Luz, leading definitely. it to the, why why the me? Circle? This is your deal. What do you mean this is my deal? The, You're the, the druid. The, the arch druid told us to go seek Vizalunti. I mean, it's your circle, your your friend circle, your sister, your brother, whatever it's called for you guys. Sibling circle. Sibling circle. The circle of life. Mm, <laughs> life. <laughs> Twilight. 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 Do we, do we oh, know yeah. what we <laughs> need to ask? Like, what what did we need to Vizalunti again? We've done a lot of shit since we talked to that arch druid. I do not remember for the life. Well, the the uh, hmm. was it the the undeath energy coming through? Because there was that whole thing with the it being a void, and something maybe, about the stars. Maybe as well, Vizalunti huh? would know what's going on with the stars and the and the uh, the growth keepers' uh, memory problems. Well, that well, was... that I think that was because she kept going close yes. to the the void, and it was taking her her soul yeah i just thought it was interesting that maybe because she remembered this guy of all things but she couldn't remember some very other basic stuff so like turning into an animal yeah which <laughs> seems to be a vibe. can druids not do that anymore of Oops. course it's our squints at least <laughs> it's so... just why would i want to do it on a regular basis i like my clothes i would do it every day it, it sounds so your, cool. What not your clothes transform with you when you turn into an? Do your clothes but that means get nobody else can you... see them. Well, they turn into fur. They're pretty. The clothes turn into yeah, fur. Yeah, but when you when you take your celestial form, you just become stars. Stars. Just stars. Yeah, but isn't that pretty? <laughs> <laughs> it is very pretty. It well, is pretty, but it's not know, like yeah. white wolf pretty. I mean. So I raptor, I suppose pretty. then. Luz, then I guess we figure out what we need to ask the dragon, and before we get to him, preferably, and then. Is he listening to us right now? Like, are we in his domain? I don't know how dragons work. Visalunti. Oh dear lord! Luz looks that... around like terrified. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he's not is... listening. Well, if he had any pets, they might have listened too. So, but um... oh, perfect, they can take us to him. <laughs> what if his pets attack us? That's why we have watches, I suppose. Luz. Yeah. What is it that you would like to know from know from Vizalunti? Yes. Well, I would like to know why the Grove is dealing with those kind of things. With the weird energy that's messing with all of the creatures there, but I also want to know what is going on with the stars, and that obviously there is something consuming the souls, but what and how I think is very important. So I suppose how. Might one be able to consume souls? Isar thinks about how much he used his abilities in the fight pit and just kind of like looks away. Then How many children did you consume? <laughs> then Luz, I guess, if he seemed to know what to ask, so when the time comes, I suppose you ask but Dragon. I've I've never spoken to a dragon. Yes, you did. You, you did? Yes. Yeah. Oh. That was a sapphire? Sapphire. Yeah, sapphire. Sapphire. I, I don't believe But it wasn't I... like 
he talked. Didn't drag him. He didn't need anything from him. He wasn't very nice. I he didn't... was the guard. Yeah. Yes, I remember, but I, I, I did not speak to. Also, I doubt this dragon is going to be in a glamour. Human. Oh. But I didn't think about diff- that. I thought he was gonna be a, a human. Well, well, a why human would he be? Room. He's in the middle of nowhere. Well, because he He's has like a house. Uh, didn't, Does he, he have a house? house? I don't see. I don't see a why house around you? here. I assume there was a house, a house out. I assume there was a house out here. Why well, if would it's dragon he have a house size? in the middle of nowhere? No, that's why I was saying it didn't make sense that he would be in dragon form. I figured he'd be in like a in like a humanoid form. But that's off the assumption. You think there's that just a little cottage a with a, with a how is he topaz making dragon pets in and stuff with like giant claws? Like how does he move? Does he move like action figures? I think it's with magic. He just, He's a dragon. Oh, with his mind, he just moves <laughs> pe- fucking undead stuff around. Probably. Oh. Yeah. Well, Alita can do that. Alita's... Have you seen how big dragons are? They no. don't fly based Actually on... fucking no, Asar. I haven't. In books. We... They're books. I don't... I don't books think are small, this is... Asar. No. Books are this small. Is not help... This is not helping lose... Lose is like... To talk to a dragon. If it's a humanoid, I'm... Oh. Have you... You went to the Sawyer Academy. Yeah. Had Did you ever have to have a meeting with some... Like, a, the dean or superintendent or someone in higher standing at the school that's that's normal well i i'm not saying i'm just a, just a teacher someone who like i'm assuming i'm assuming you didn't talk to the principal every day or something i'm just uh, asking think of someone think of a time you had to meet someone and that you found yourself very intimidated by. Um. Okay. 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 Talk to you. I talk to you. Potions. Because wasn't You're okay. Out. You're cutting out. Cutting out. Yeah. That's fine. Luz is just mumbling under under her breath. Show me your mean face. Dude, can, I, can I make smiles. out when she's muttering? You're gonna have to intimidate him. Show me your mean face. Luz looks up and gives you like a furrowed brow look. We but a, she probably you, looks a bit more Can we more get concerned. a roll for this? Are you constipated? <laughs> okay, so can we get a roll to see the fucking mean face from sure, make a performance check. <laughs> oh no. Me? You're being mean. Your mean face. My mean face. Um. <laughs> oh no. What? Um. Uh. Ten. It's a ten. It's like a slight grimace. <laughs> you hurt? You hurt? Uh, no. No. I. I... So alternatively, if. <laughs> If seeing the dragon as some kind of important normal figure in your life doesn't work, remember, it's just another creature who has knowledge to give to you. If it does anything violent, then... But that's the end of it. It's just another creature with information. Pretend Visalunti is a druid turned into a dragon. Ooh, can you do that? It's It's like, you know, when you're talking in front of a group of people and they say you know just imagine everyone in in their underclothes and it'll make you feel less like awkward about speaking it doesn't really make sense to me but that's what they say no it's true think i feel like that make me more awkward think about him in his underwear think about a dragon in his underwear he could be a human form that'll make it easier like, very confused and like like she's trying to picture something dragon so in a bathroom Nadia. dragon yeah, in a bathroom. like trying to imagine that it's just like Aaliyah what just the looks hell? Done. I looks very intrigued. <laughs> like, what would a dragon wear to bed? <laughs> how would it look with a very big bathrobe? It must be very soft. <laughs> mm. What color? Where would the like the wrap go to Pink. keep it closed? Would that be like around in between its front legs and back legs? 
Would it be belly? a little necktie? Is, is, is it stand dragon? straight up or is it on all fours? That, that's not a robe. That's a cloak <laughs> then. What is it if it was around his neck? Do dragons wear pants only on their back legs or is it all four legs? <laughs> <laughs> not this. No. No. We're not having this. How would a horse wear pants? <laughs> yeah. No, stop. I've seen centaur. <laughs> no. They don't wear pants at all. <laughs> no, they do not. What a sight. So how are we staying warm on that boat this time? Breathing. Is it is it is it camping time again? Like is that yes. what we? Okay. Yep. That's what we've been doing. Oh God. <laughs> nah. Um. This is we what should... we've been debating trying to set up the camp. But... <laughs> We're just having yeah. this conversation standing around. <laughs> yeah. Kicking away rocks and stuff. <laughs> Everyone's like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm in the tent. <laughs> Adi is like, don't care, in the tent. Um, okay, we just can try and tough it out. One level of exhaustion. No, no yeah, be in the yeah, tent. Be in the tent. In the tent. Uh, Luz will will brave brave the weather. Adi will curl up around like Alita's Ooh. arm, trying to be warm. Which arm? Hey, Alita. Which, which, whichever is comfortable for Alita. She'd be more comfortable with the right arm. We'll cuddle around the right arm to be warm. <laughs> What's your compass point me. to now? Sorry. What? What's your compass point to now, Alita? Now that we have the engine, does it just keep pointing towards it? It'll still point to the engine until I make contact. Until I make contact with one another. Oh, okay. What, wait, what do you mean by that? All I have to do is tap the compass to the engine, and it will no longer track it. What would it track instead? Whatever your heart the next, desires. The next that true? nearest sort, next to nearest machine of the same origin. Oh. Have you, is there a reason you haven't done that? Paranoia. In case it goes missing again. Yes. That's fair. Sense. What if it's a loony who wants it? Absolutely not. What if he takes it? I don't think we can fight a dragon. I We've mean, done a lot of really let's crazy be honest, things. We didn't think we could fight the other two, but I guess Michael we is can there, also though. Just this is a never... very old dragon, from what we understand. We don't have to show it to him at all. He doesn't even need to know it's there. Don't dragons have, like, a thing where they can see, like... I don't Do know they? if dragons have... Do dragons have x-ray vision? I don't know. Do they have... <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Do you... Oh. Do dragons see everyone they can... Do dragons have <laughs> they, yeah. they have true sight. I know they have do, true sight. Do, Out of character. Do they have but... a... I mean, but then they, they can't see through another dimension. <laughs> like... Well, it's not... What if they could? It can't, fit, I mean, it can't it... fit in the pack of holding. It, are you it sure? Why? It can. We never we never put it in there. Can it? Yeah. The opening of the bag of holding is not wide enough. Uh, oh, okay. Break yeah, it Leah's and then we'll put it in there by pieces. Three feet across. I was also afraid that if we put it in there, it would, like, destroy something yeah. horribly. Also, um, like, yeah, it's not under even illusion if it did, even if for it true did sight. Fit, yeah. Even if it did Where? fit, Alita wouldn't put it in there. How have we been carrying this thing? Alita Alita's just been walking with How it. Been How has Alita been carrying? Is this, like, a backpack? She's She's got some rope, yes. Yeah, so she's you just know, got, like, tied to her back. Ludwig's wheel from uh, Bloodborne? Or whatever it was? That big, giant wheel yeah. on their back? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the streamer Ludwig, and I was like, <laughs> that's some new game show? <laughs> Are you Googling Ludwig's wheel? I don't think it's called like Ludwig's wheel. But... He said, no, he's, he, he said, Google, show me this man's balls. <laughs> it's Wyvern. <laughs> Logarius' wheel. The Wyverns have x-ray vision. Yes, Pete. <laughs> so, so do we have a way to hide then the engine? So he doesn't that's notice so it? sick, actually. The only thing I can think of is <laughs> burying it in some snow and leaving it I behind, mean, but... I could... I don't... Chris, would I be able to... Would I be able to hide it if I turned it to an animal? Oh, well, <laughs> technically, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like not anything a, that you're wearing or carrying absorbs yeah. Yeah. Hold, yeah, It's not hold, an hold illusion. Up, hold up, hold up, Luz. I know, I know we joke about this a lot. You can turn into constellations. I can assume you can also turn into animals. I mean, that kind of just, in my mind, tracks in a weird way. 
Um, okay. Okay. Well, the issue then is the that issue is he... you're the one that's supposed to talk to this dragon. Well, yes, but he but can't I... see through. That's not an illusion, even if he has true sight. No, but he. You can you talk in animal form? If I'm a mouse and I just have like a really really oh. strong magical power source coming off of me. Well, what the fuck is up with that mouse? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose one of us could ask the questions for Luz, but well, then it, it, if Luz wants to ask ask further questions, that might be a little more complicated. Wait, why are we? What? Wait, why are we having Luz not ask questions in regular form? Because Luz was wanting to turn into an animal with the battery in their possession, so that it would magically be subsumed into their form. How do you know all visible. of this about? <laughs> I read a lot. Yeah, Druids were shit. like a thing of legend around our place. We didn't we didn't have any, but we really wanted to meet one. And I could <laughs> I You could didn't act talk. like it when you met me. Well I you haven't we, turned we, into an animal. Fair, that's kinda yeah, what to we're be interested fair, in. That we yeah, we kinda think like, you know, somebody turning into a giant bear and mauling people. We could I see could the also stars. Talk we can't to turn Rizalanti. into animals. <laughs> and then <laughs> We also can't turn with, into a constellation. Well no. With, with Luz, I can have a telepathic connection. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, I'm Luz, pretty I'm sure. Yelling audio. Talk. You cannot talk as an animal, as a druid. Can you turn but... into a cat? <sighs> How big of a cat? Let's not. Let's stop getting off track. Here. Sorry. <laughs> uh... We should. We should bed down for the night. These are just. We're talking in circles. Yeah. Alita, what do you want to do with the battery? Do you want us to just like put it on one of our backs and just ignore him if he asks questions about it? Or hmm. there's a pretty good likelihood he doesn't have any interest in it, but it's just like off chance, you know. I suppose we'll just have to see there if if he is interested in it and willing to take it by force, I think I have means to deal with that. To deal with a very old dragon? Yes. Does it involve sacrificing the rest of us? Seems like where your plans normally go um, is kind of like you were, you were running from that last what, what fight, play, too. What plan with the of mine has never involved sacrificing you all? The Archon I, 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 of I, I, Debt, where you grabbed the engine and tried to run away I from the fight? I was no, I feel like there was here. there was merit to that. I just I, going I in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> I just was that was to try to keep it here in case it wanted to just leave. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking he was gonna try and go into the portal or something, and then that could have been much worse. So I thought what Alita did was smart. Gotcha. At least that's how I took it. Well, they were crying when they were joking. <laughs> I think they were crying because it was fucking terrifying. I don't I don't blame her for that. I don't Did cry. you see that guy? Girl? Th them? I... He didn't taste good. What? 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 <laughs> Let's bed down for the night. What? What? <laughs> I think the frost is getting to Eileen. Eileen? You keep saying things and they're not making any sense. It's fucking cold. It is cold. Let's go to All bed. All right. Uh, watch order. Bam. Uh, sorry, go first again. I think we just do same. Yeah, same. So, loose. I got a roll in advantage. 25. Audio plus audio. Well, You're first of all, every, everybody make a constitution me. saving throw. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, 23. God, fuck oh. me. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, that went, that went really badly. Oh. I got a 16. Where's my character sheet? I got a 5. I'm I'm in the tent, but it's another nine. Constitution saving throw? Yep. Yeah. Oh, 15 total. Oh, okay. Uh Sorry, 20 uh 23 con. Uh loose. What what was your con say? Five. Elita nine. <laughs> Eileen fifteen. Adia. Sixteen. In the tent. Okay. Um, Elita, you gain a second point of exhaustion. Oh, oh my god, fuck. no. Loose, you gain one point of exhaustion. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's even, just even a disadvantage now. on, like... Isar is just, like, a space heater. 
outside. No. <laughs> He's completely fine. You're already dead, so you're fine. <laughs> there is now actual frost on Alita. No, and she's kind of like even, trudging behind. Even with curling against Alita, like even that didn't help. Curl against Alita. During I mean, the sleep. Oh man. Not with a nine. Oh my god. Um Eileen and Isar, both of you are quite used to the frigid temperatures and it feels like home. It's not comfortable, but you're able to power through. And it's our, you keep your watch throughout the night, and nothing really comes to your attention. Luce, go ahead and make your perception check. Disadvantage, because you're out of exhaustion. Well, I know what I got. Roll a second. Uh, negative one. Plus... <laughs> Uh, Holy a shit! Negative one. Wait, how Sorry. do you get just a kidding. negative uh, one? Uh, uh, just a just a just a just a natural a one. I meant to say natural one. <laughs> oh. Negative one. <laughs> negative one. Negative you one. Rolled how do you have more dice? You got. <laughs> You're a druid. <laughs> Goes into a fucking alternate dimension. I got a nine. <laughs> <laughs> a nine on my first. You know, sometimes with perception, you have to look in. I want some of the dice that Luz has rolling <laughs> negatives and shit. Oh, negative five to twenty-seven. What a weird dice number. Okay, I, I don't... rolled a six for perception. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, Luce. Yeah. Uh -oh. During your watch, yeah. Um, as you're uh -oh. sitting and watching and looking around, trying to keep yourself warm and huddled up, um, you suddenly feel a presence behind you <gasps> as you're sitting there. And as you go to turn your head, you suddenly feel yourself grabbed from behind <laughs> and something wrapped around your neck. Uh, you feel the air kind of like stuck in your throat as something is wrapped around your neck and you are being held. Um, and you take... Oh, no. Oh, well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is where Luz turns into an animal to escape. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't tell anybody. You take four points of damage. And you suddenly feel yourself <laughs> blink out of existence. Oh, cool! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, you shit. take four points of damage. Welcome to Oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> um, you blink out of existence into a different space. You are in still in icy caverns, but what you are not where you were. What the fuck? Um, where am I? What's around me? What's going on? What the fuck? Find yourself in the back of a cart. <laughs> an adventure <laughs> across you. from you. You're finally awake. <laughs> you were caught trying to cross the border with that thief. <laughs> Wow. Um, I need the rest of you to make perception checks. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. I'm just going to use well, the one I roll for the watch. Or, like, should we roll at disadvantage, or...? If you're asleep, then you roll disadvantage, yeah. Oh, real disadvantage. Okay. I rolled mine prematurely and also got a natural wow. one. For the second yeah. night in a row. Five. So I, that's not 11 five. total for Isar. Seven. I got 14. Disadvantage. 14. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. hmm. I I want you to make me a dexterity saving throw, loose. Okay. To determine oh. how quickly you can react and make a noise as you're being corroded before you blink <laughs> out. Oh, piano wire. Um. You said dexterity saving throw. Yep. That is an eight. 18 eight? or 8? Eight? 18. 18? Okay. 18. Okay. One, eight. eight. And then you pause. 18. <laughs> um, 18. Audio, while you are asleep, you hear the faintest yelp, like, <laughs> and then silence, but it kind of like jostles you from your sleep a little bit. Uh, loose. Yes. You blink and you are, you have something wrapped around your neck as you uh, feel yourself appear with a rush into a different space. And you are frigidly cold, being harried by something behind you, 
and you suddenly feel a dark energy begin to oh. wash over you. Hello? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have you roll an initiative. Oh! What? Here we what? go! What? What? Here we go! It's... Uh, give me a second. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be a second. Oh, sure. Do something. We didn't get combat last session. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's time for a solo fight. Oh. Everybody sit back, grab some snacks, make fun of the dinosaurs. Oh, no. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check on that rice I made a while back. <laughs> Good luck, Luz! You'll be fine. We're all sleeping. No, Look at Isor is Isor is snoring. Awake? Like, sure Alita's, Alita's awake, five. but you didn't okay. hear shit. <laughs> okay, at least I have spells prepped. <laughs> Alita just doesn't give a shit, it sounds like. <laughs> Alita's awake and didn't notice? Well, no, no, she was in stasis. Oh, okay, so, okay. I'm still uh... conscious while I'm in stasis, but I guess I just, I didn't hear apparently. No. Yeah, my ears, right. my little cat ears, here's everything. Did you, did you roll, well actually you'd still roll with disadvantage because yeah, of exhaustion. Yeah. Yeah, I, I rolled a seven and a, and a six. No, yeah, a seven just, and an eight. You just didn't hear. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not on you. You're tired. You're tired, but you can't sleep. Even if I didn't have disadvantage, I'm rolling. Luz, you find yourself in an icy cavern, and this creature that looks very odd. It's you kind of like turn your head a little bit as you're being corroded. And it is this spindly, thin creature that's like slightly hairy, looks goblinoid-ish, but more fey in nature with like spiked and pointed ears and wild hair that comes out the back. And very much hunched over, like kind of like Gollum from Lord of the Rings and has this rope wrapped around your neck and garroting you. Um, and it just kind of like whispers to you, we're gonna be taking everything. And um, you feel just a dark energy wash over you as you feel as though you are cursed uh, by some sort of dark magic. Um, you look around the room and you begin to see the bodies that are frozen and ice and things that are like lying on the ground begin to stir and twitch. Cool. Um, cool. Go ahead and roll initiative. Cool. Um, I got a 15. 15. Oh, I guess, yeah, I need this. Okay. Do, do, do. Rolled pretty bad initiative. Aki Naflab? Oh, whoops, it did the thing again. <laughs> I Is like Naflab. <laughs> Nathlab doesn't sound so scary. It's a family name. <laughs> it did the fucking thing again. Like Bilg. I also liked Bilg. Bilg was great. guy. But we didn't say uh, Yeah. Luce, you are yeah. the first to act as oh, you are boy. being you are grappled currently, being corroded, and you feel this dark energy over you. Um I would say with your passive perception, you're able to like look around and quickly gauge that the dead creatures are beginning to stir and look as though they are focusing on you. Oh, fuck crap. Okay. What do you do? I am, um, going to cast a conjure animals uh is that verbal D yeah you're currently being corroded you can't speak ah. god damn it which of my things are not verbal? Wild what do shape. I have that's not verbal? Wild shape. Uh, um, 
like no one's there to see it. <laughs> if it drew to wild shapes in a dark cave and nobody's around to see it, did she actually? I can't fly. That would be helpful. Look, I wasn't expecting to be thrown into... <laughs> I mean, even turning into like a large creature at the very least might be able to like, help get out. Yeah, I know. Or a tiny creature. <laughs> yeah, that was. Turn into a goldfish. Mm -hmm. Oh, that scene's gonna be fucking funny. Is it gonna happen in the show? Um, I feel like we're too far show, away, right? In the show, yes. Not for a long time, though. Okay, yeah, so you're not nowhere pretty... near this season. Uh, okay. probably Still not. Probably do. next. You know what they're doing in the next season of Vox Machina? They are. No, they, they are. Yeah, no, there's, For sure? there's a season, there's They've a season already confirmed three, it. Okay, hard cool. confirmed, and then there's a movie, which could be the Vecna arc, could be Oh, that'd be so sick. Could be just Calamity, but they need minimum two seasons for Chroma Conclave. There's too much content to, uh, for sure. to fix them. And at the pace they're going at, there's no way they fix uh. the next season. The problem is, is I don't have very good wild shape because I am not a um, moon druid. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. You can still you can turn into a horse. Oh, okay. That's just okay. Wait, I didn't roll for today. Can I roll my cosmic omen? Sure. Damn it. Okay. Never mind. Still wheel. Okay. I think I am going to. So that's somatic. Everything's fucking somatic. You could you you could have free use of your hands. You just don't have verbal. Yeah. I... You you have somatic. My bad. Is is everything's got on it? There is there is next to nothing that. I have available uh, that would do anything. It doesn't have metal on it, I'm assuming. Uh, no. You can try to break the grapple if you'd like. Yeah, I think that's going to be my best move outside of turning animal, which I don't really have a good animal to turn into because a reef shark won't really help me right here. Um, <laughs> okay. What about a war horse? Uh, yeah, I could I could turn into a war horse, but um, isn't a war horse just a horse with armor on? <laughs> no, a war no a war horse is it's a better <laughs> riding horse essentially. It's got uh, a little more HP, higher strength, and it has a trample. Regular horse with PTSD. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Because I don't think I'd want to turn into anything else. So, yeah, I am going to just try and break this grapple. Okay. Uh, either athletics or acrobatics. And that's just a that's a check on a yep i thought it's a acrobatics check okay that is going to be a 18. did you roll disadvantage no that is going to be a 16. 16. you are able to pull the rope off of your neck and turn and face the creature uh you're no longer grappled oh thank god okay so i can now i can that's your action okay so i am going to uh, then use my bonus action to do to cast Misty Step. Um, can I see an exit? Uh, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna Misty Step my 30 feet over there. Okay. Left click, right click, ha 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 ha. Shit. They're learning. 
We're getting stronger. <laughs> We're getting stronger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Teleport 30 feet across the room. That's your action, your bonus. And then I am going to run. <laughs> okay. Run and I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh. Help! Help! Um, oh. And so I am going to use my 30 to left click, right click. There you This little. All right. You enter oh. into another cavernous space. <laughs> oh, whoops. Ignore that. I don't know why I hit that. I did. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh. No, it, it no, goes it down. Like, <laughs> okay, I was like, it looks like a dead end. <laughs> like a dead end. Okay, yeah, so, so all now right, we're that here. Your turn? Um, yep, that's my turn. Bonus action, all free right. action, and all that crap. Yep. Uh, end of your turn. You start to be pursued. Great. As coming out from the walls. Oh, oh cool. Ah! Gonna fuck me. Haul ass bitch. This is my like nightmare. Okay. Yeah. Wild shape into a horse and just run. Yeah, that might be the that might be the move. But what if the horse can't get past shit? Coming out from the walls are a couple of creatures. Run, bitch, run! <laughs> Those look like the zombies from the forest, or the they look mutants. So, they look so naked. <laughs> they absolutely don't have genitals. <laughs> it's yeah. just smooth. If not a horse, then a pony. A pony. Um, this creature is going to start pursuing you. To move, it's thirty feet. Is going to bonus action shadow stealth. Shadow stealth. And you lose sight of it. And yeah, that will be its turn. Then, um, Okay. Isar. Yes. While you are sleeping, you suddenly feel something wrap around your neck and you oh. sputter awake. <laughs> and you see the face of a similar type of creature that Lu saw, just like very spindly and uh, kind of live looking. Uh, just almost, it looks like it's exposed muscle on the outside of it. Uh, very, very thin and strange with spiky features and hair coming out, uh, like almost like a Super Saiyan, just like straight back, and uh, grabs a hold of you with a rope around your neck. You're coming with me! And poof, you took yourself teleported away. Okay. Do we hear <laughs> Uh, I assume because Isar was sleeping, he didn't have enough much opportunity to do yeah. anything. Yeah. Was like, no, yeah, yeah, you were dead asleep. Uh, you were over here, dead asleep. I'm back. Sorry. And creature with it's you. Back. Are we doing anything? And you take. Eight points of bludgeoning damage from being garroted, and you also feel a curse overcome you. Curse? Oh yeah, I'm cursed. Fuck. <laughs> what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, you're not sure. You just feel a dark energy wash over you. What the fuck? Oh, it's okay. But it's okay. You can go ahead and roll initiative too, Asar. Yes. Initiative. <laughs> oh, uh, the rest of you can make another uh, perception check. Oh, uh, that me. is 15. I'm, I'm awake now, though. Uh, Adia, yeah, you are awake. Okay. So okay. you can make a flat roll. This is my third natural God one perception in a row. Four. Third natural one. You need to change your dice. I have. I'm working between two different ones. I got 11. Uh, Adia, Adia, what'd you roll? 11. 
you look no. over as you're kind of like groggily waking up and look out the tent and you see the tri- like the tailing end uh, as you hear this yelp you look out the tent and you see just a blink as where Asar was lying on the ground he is no longer there you just see kind of like a whoosh of of like shadow and then Asar is not there anymore Alita Alita wake up <laughs> no weapon or what? with weapon um no, you have no weapon because you don't sleep with it like attached to you. You don't have your armor either, actually. Oh, fuck. fuck. Oh, fuck. I, I, would he have his armor? Because maybe he's layered no. up because of how cold it is. Cold it was? I think it's like one of the times where cold, maybe, it you know? Be? It'd be warmer. Wouldn't metal be cold? It'd be warmer. It's it'd be an insulator. Lynn, I don't I know how maybe. much... You are capable of wearing armor. You just... If you wear armor during a long rest, you don't lose exhaustion levels or regain hit die. Well, you regain less hit dice. I believe yeah. it's one quarter instead of one half. Ah. I think in this scenario, with it being so cold, Isar wouldn't have stripped down and he would have just wrapped himself in his bedroll. But he definitely wouldn't have his weapon. There's no reason for that at all. Yeah, but would you would be in your armor, though? Yeah. Okay, so you have your armor, but no weapon. Time to punch some zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Um, okay, I'm just gonna going break to through a wall. <laughs> this creature's turn. Just a different oh, level, but we're still punching zombies. Yeah. Uh, this creature is going to run over to you, Luce, and is going to make an attack at you. It's going okay. to attempt to claw you. Okay. Uh, it's a natural one, luckily. Woo! Um, then it will be Take the it. other creature's turn. It will also run over to you and is going to attempt to claw you. God, if Ooh. Alita got, if Alita got, a 21 got to hit. she would have died in Oh yeah, that one. hits. <laughs> you take... Seven points of slashing damage, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Okay. Uh, that is an that's con save yep eight. what is it eight, eight. you yeah. feel your body locked up and you are stunned oh cool <laughs> oh my god uh oh what the fuck is happening Okay. Well, uh, Luce, it is your turn. Um, stunned. You're stunned. I can't do anything, yeah? Yep. Yeah, okay. Exciting. Um, <laughs> let me see. Elita. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Wait, I'm with Adia. Oh, Adia's like curled around me at least. No, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm looking out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm looking out. I'm looking. I, I, don't think, I wouldn't have left the tent. I just looked, looked out at least, but. Yep, while you're looking out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take it from behind you. My god, uh, terrifying. Where'd you go? Elita, you feel something wrap around your neck as Jack. you take six points of bludgeoning damage and you are oh, no. <laughs> teleported away. What about the contingency thing? Does that trigger here? <laughs> <laughs> I did have a contingency. That is, I, am I being attacked? You are. You are sure. <laughs> Armor of Agathus, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Um, that first attack, it doesn't, like, trigger the hit, though, because it was, uh, you weren't aware that you were being attacked, so the attack went off, and then it triggered. Okay, so I don't, so I have hit points. So, you have the hit points now, yeah. Gotcha. Or you have the temporary hit points, I mean. And how, it was five hit points? Uh, it was six points of damage. Six, gotcha. Or why did our get hit the hardest? Uh, And you are grappled and garroted currently, being held by this creature. You can uh, like you know. and yeah, just whispers into your ear. 
Everything you have is ours. Uh, and you feel a curse likewise come over you. <laughs> All right, then. Um, at this point. <laughs> at this point. Can I please wake up? I think that's still past I, I didn't get to go. Does Adia just turn around? <laughs> I fucking hear you shuffling out there. Oh, whoops. Sh shuffling in there. What Every the? day I'm shuffling. It's a 13 for this guy. Eileen, don't get taken. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> alone in the dark. I'm alone. Eileen is um, out cold still. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I believe right. like Eileen's like one of the uh, at this point, Eileen, ever. you are awake. You yes. and you and Alita can both roll initiative. And Adia, you can roll oh, initiative okay. too. Oh, okay. Where are they though? Yeah, oh, where where okay. the fuck are we? Okay, that's I finally get a roll above a ten. Nice. <laughs> Adia, you are down at the camp. Set up over here. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, where? I zoom out. Oh, it's oh, a wow. Large map. It's a wow. Large map. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was like, I'm looking at black for so long, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh. Oh, cool. Let me click that. Okay. Where Everyone's is. Everyone's in different spots. Woo. I, got, I got eight, though, actually. Bad. Bummer. Where's Eileen? Uh, Eileen, you were also at the camp. With, uh, You're actually oh, yeah. in the oh, nine sorry. hell. Home. In my dreams, yeah. <laughs> Some reason Mike is there and he's your guard now. He seems to have changed. Uh it's our Europe. Uh okay, uh so he's currently garroted, right? Uh yes, Isar you are currently garroted. Yeah. So Isar is going to instinctually uh infuse himself with an Ardiran strike and he is going to try and hold the garrote and headbutt backwards into the all right, make it an unarmed attack roll. Uh, just straight roll. Uh, yeah, you're not restrained. You're just grappled. That is a natural 19. That will hit. So that's five points of damage. Uh, I'll do the... Um, there's no rebound. And it needs a strength saving throw. All right. That is a 10. That will fail by more than five. So... Okay. So launch backwards 20 feet. Slams up against the wall. <clears throat> loud crashing sound as it is thrust up against the stone and uh, falls prone. Hmm. And uh, takes curve. nine points of bludgeoning damage from being thrown. Pretty big. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yes, that's your it's first. It's gonna attack. be even bigger when Isar's pissed off and he curb stomps this thing with another <laughs> strike. <laughs> uh, Isar's just gonna start curb stomping it. Go yeah, no, it. that's what he's doing right now. Yeah. He's curb stomping this with a concuss. Go for it. That is another natural nineteen, uh, nineteen and seven, because it's that'll hit. Damn. Uh, and then rebound. That will rebound on me. So okay. That is. That's a 17 to save. <laughs> Fucking 10 points of damage to me, goddamn. Damn. Uh, 17 to save. Okay, so he saves, but... Yeah. He's... How much damage is this? Uh, another five? Five. Five points of damage. All right. Yeah, yeah you stomp on him. The uh, Ardiran Strike not fully taking effect as it's able to resist and uh, guard itself. But, uh, yeah. You yeah, deal and a then pretty big chunk Isar's, of damage. Isar is going to fucking leave. <laughs> Okay. He's going his 30 feet. Uh, it's going to attempt to attack yeah. you from the ground. Yeah. Which I believe is disadvantage. From... Yep. Uh, no. Natural three. No. <laughs> Swings and tries to grab at you at your leg as you're walking away, but unable to. Yeah. And uh, that's my turn. Isar is trying to shout out to uh, to his friends who may be nearby. Okay. End of your turn. You We're see under the... attack! You see the walls around you start to move. Uh, as coming out from them. Okay. 
creature. Uh, uh, hang on. A couple of creatures come out. Uh, let me roll initiative for them. Dog shit. And... Okay. Lose, you're up. Uh, from where Isar is, can he see uh, Eileen and Adia? Or is it still too far? Um, it is dark. Fair. Yeah, no. Um, okay. Luz is going to... Can't really see all too much of anything. Would I have had disadvantage on those melee attacks? Wait, but aren't Isar's pant... No, is... they aren't That's lit only up. Hour. Damn it. Would I have had disadvantage um... on those... The first one, yeah, I guess you would have had disadvantage. The second one, it would have been a flat roll because it was prone. Okay, so do you want to retcon? We can go back That's and right. do it. Not a big deal. Okay. Uh, their AC is quite low anyway. Um, yeah, lose your up. You are uh, Wait, no we... longer stunned. Yeah, I, hold on, how did this work? Because I think we got a little topsy-turvy with the turn order. Yeah, the, the turn order kind of reset a little bit because of uh, a lot of the creatures being added. And yeah. you, like you, with you guys being surprised and like not actually getting a turn, you yeah, know, sure. it uh, yeah, it was a little right. wonky. Okay. Um. This time, Luz is going to conjure wolves. Okay. Um, let me double check whether. What spell? Conjure animals. Yeah. So I know I can, I know wolves are challenge one quarter, right? Because I feel like I, wolf? I angered people with eight wolves once. Regular wolf is one quarter. Yeah. Yeah, let's go eight wolves. Okay. That's uh, how we're wolf. feeling today is Very eight, fast wolves. It's eight wolves. Wolf... Uh, do you want to roll their health? 2d8 uh, plus 2. Yeah. Eight! 2d8 plus 2 is 8. Eight! Okay. I'm so 16. <laughs> Max health! Oh, you rolled two eights. I rolled two eights! <laughs> so, 18. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where would you like them? I would like a four. So many wolves. <laughs> I would like four. You know what? I'll just give you control of all of them. <laughs> give me a moment. Oh, I love this spell. You spawn ads, we spawn ads. <laughs> Controlled by... Initiative moves. blues. Wait, 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 hold on. Don't move it yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you should be able to control all eight of them. Yep, I can the see DMs everyone's health spells. bars and everything. Such a fucking annoying smell. <laughs> <laughs> so many fucking things on the board now. I love this spell for so many reasons. <laughs> These guys are my backups. These guys are my lookouts. <laughs> <laughs> This one's Luce, my enforcer. Summon this army. one's my fence. <laughs> summon support the wolf, wolf mafia. Um, and this then one's these guys. This is jungler. Are gonna be my backup attackers who are gonna hurt these guys. Okay. 
So I, I cast my spell. You um, sure did. I did. And uh, I'm scared of moving, but I think I'm going to run away. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, they're both going to make attacks at you. Yep. Okay. First attack. Natural one. Second attack. Eight to hit. Does that not does hit not hit me. Both of them swing out towards you and miss. I run away and I dodge through my wolves so they can jump in after me. All right. Wait, let me actually like figure out what the math is. Okay. Okay. I believe my wolves go on murder. Uh, conjure. Oh no, animals. I roll initiative for them as a group. Uh, friendly to you has their own turns. Right. Yeah, as just a roll group. initiative as a group. Yeah. So uh, initiative is plus two. Ah, it's a four plus two. That's a six. Six. Roger that. Add wolf. Six. Put it over here. Okay. Now your turn. Um, and then I ran away. I cast my spell, and my bonus action is going to be. Can, I can healing word, word myself, yes, as the spell driver, because that's a bonus action spell. Or does that have to... Healing I word, know. yeah. You can yeah, do that. Okay. Well, I'm going to cast healing word on myself. Um, okay. Bop. Bop. Is a... Why can't I... 1d4. Yep. Plus... Two plus five, seven. Okay, that's my turn. All right, it is this school's turn. It's gonna run over to SR and make an attack. That is a 19 to hit. That will hit. You take two, nine points of slashing damage. Okay. And make a con save for me. Uh, 17. Yep, you're good. Uh, the claws cut across your body, finding their way through the armor a little bit, but not able to have any further effects. That will be its turn. It will be this creature. It's going to stand up. Tap its movement. And is going to shadow stealth. That will be its turn. Adia, you're up. Okay. Does Adia hear is the crash that Isar made all the way back there, or well, you also heard Isar uh, yell you have that we're dark on vision, attack. right? Yes, I do. Yeah, so you can see Isar, 40, oh. about forty feet away, in the you see uh, Isar the gray darkness. No torch. Yeah, there is a ghoul currently right next to it. You see an undead creature like swinging at Isar, and yeah. Just darkness all around other than that. Shit. Do I see Asar's weapon? Like, uh, close by? Uh, on the ground, yeah, next to his stuff. Okay, uh, can I go pick it up and try to see if I can I use my action? <laughs> Free action to pick it up! Action to toss it to Asar? <laughs> uh, uh, it's gonna be a hard throw from where you are. Okay, can I... You oh, could okay. bring it over. <laughs> I'll... You know you what? I'll like fuck... Yeah, 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 that's true. I'll bring it over. I'll fucking bring it over. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll. Yep. Yeah, I'll. I'll use my uh, feline, feline uh, agility to get to him as well. Okay. So I'm just gonna just pounce on over there and then drop yeah. drop his weapon at his feet. <laughs> it hits his toe. He does. He doesn't know where it is. <laughs> it's or cannot see. 
It's not, it's not, I'm here, you're here. It's out of your feet, oh, it's out of your feet. Oh, you're weapon, you're oh. open, you're open. Get, just get okay, it, just reach yeah. it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You've used 42 feet of movement? Yes, and... You have uh, 30 billion more. I, I have I 20 feet have 20, more. 20, like 18. Yeah, 18 more. And then, uh, was, that was my free action to pick it up, or... And then... Uh, item interaction to pick it up, yeah. So that was... Okay, you didn't so throw it, I... so you did just drop it, so I think that's... I have two actions. I have I have attacked an action still, right? Yeah, you have your action. Oh, okay. So then, oh uh, yeah, I will stab at the thing. Okay, go for it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. With a sneak attack. Twenty-five. That will hit. Yep, for eighteen. Eighteen points of damage. Big hit. Okay. Uh, so... it is looking very fucked up. Okay, another another at it. Okay. Offhand. For twenty-four. That'll hit. Big hits. Seven. Uh, Isar, you hear Adia rush over to your side, tell you Clang. your weapons here, ah! clang onto the ground, and then two <laughs> sounds of uh, psychic blades apparating and then disappearing that slightly glow a uh, like reddish green color. Slice into this creature, disappear, and then you hear a thud hit the ground as the creature is dead. Okay, and then Adia will, Adia will, uh, will, uh, do a bonus action to hide and try to stealth away. Hide behind Isar. <laughs> yeah, you need something to hide behind. Yeah, okay. Isar's pretty I, no. fucking wide. She, yeah, actually, sorry, sorry, I did that word wrong. Um, she's gonna. Go back to here for their 18 feet left over and then do a hide. Try to do a hide behind that rock. Okay. Make a hide action. Uh, uh for 14. <laughs> this is great. Okay, that's your turn. Okay. Yep, that's my Delph. turn. Alright. It is this other measles turn is going to make an attack roll at Elita. Stealth. Uh that will be a Natural 20. 21 to hit. Oh. Yeah, that'll uh, hit. Alita, right. no! You take... Alita does have armor of Agus... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Armor of Agus... Agathis on. Armor of Amethyst. Four, <laughs> seven... <laughs> plus two... I'm speaking Rika's language now. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing that to the cat, and she was mesmerized earlier today. <laughs> I see, Just like, the language. Rah, 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 rah. Uh, so you take seven points of piercing and four points of necrotic damage. All right, so it's 11. So I'm down to four temporary. He takes uh, 15 cold damage from that. Okay. 15 points of cold. Um, Does not seem to fully affect... The creature, the cold damage. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I need you to make a charisma saving throw. All right, I'm gonna use a different dice. That's cock. That is an eleven plus seven for eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um, so this sword stabs into you as you are being held by this creature. And then you feel like a magic surge uh, begin to like happen, but you are able to overpower it and does not take hold. That will be um... Yeah, it's holding you, so it can only make one attack. Okay, that'll be its turn. It is the wolves' turn. Cool. Yeah, let's go wolves. Um, Very they're gonna wolves. attack. Okay. Oh. So oh, they, or, well, they... you can have four of them attack. <laughs> yes, I, yeah, them. yeah. I was going to have four of them attack that could attack. So, okay. and they have advantage. So, what are they attacking? Which one is um, attacking which? The two that are on this side will attack the upper guy, and the two that are on this side will attack the lower guy. Okay, so roll to hit, advantage. Okay, so... Plus four to hit. Okay, thank you. Um, So, 18... That'll hit. Um, a another eighteen. Also will hit. A. Uh, it 20... is knocked prone. Okay. 
A 21. 21 will hit. And a 23. 23 will also hit. And it is knocked prone. Both of them are knocked prone. The wolves are just mauling the shit out of these <laughs> zombies. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh, God, what's the bite? Damn it. They attacked one drow uh, and then eight bite wolves is came out 2D4 of the ground. 2d4 plus two. <laughs> 2d4 plus 2. Whoa. And you hit with all four. Ugh. Okay, so that is... You need any d4. Seven for one. Ugh. You want multiple d4? No, I have multiple d4. Okay, because I have like 15. I, I, I have enough. Thank you. Well, I, I have to do them each attack separately, so that way I can add the plus... Yeah, seven points on the first? Yeah, four points on the second. Okay. Uh, Five points on the third. Five points. And? And then... Oh, is there plus damage on this? Plus you two. Said two? It's two okay. four plus two. So that, that last one was seven, sorry. I okay. didn't add the plus two. And then this one is nine. Damn. Yeah, that was a seven on the roll. All right. Big hits. The wolves all leaping towards these creatures and ripping and tearing into them. Cool. Uh, the wolves turn. Yep. And then All right. the the other wolves are going to keep a look out behind them. Okay. And then these wolves are going to travel with me. Okay. Once it's fine. Well, you have to move them now. You can't oh, move okay. them on your turn. Well, then they're going to go ahead. Out here. Oh, no. Those wolves are warding. I'm going to turn the corner and see a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill my wolf! It's getting murdered if you're not with it. It's purple! It's starry! We'll it's see. coat looks like a galaxy! <laughs> does it, does it, are these constellation wolves? This creature, it can look like that. <laughs> yeah, what do these wolves look like, Chris? Loose, tell me. <laughs> what do these wolves look like? We need to know. We need to know. The wolves have you need hair. To be very like, specific. <laughs> the wolves' fur looks like it trails off into almost light. Like there's like it doesn't have an actual end. It's covered in a purpley blue midnight sheen that looks like Ooh. it's got speckles through it of stars. It's very pretty. Ooh. Gives off a faint little glow. Cute. Would All you right. shoot it? <laughs> this creature is going to attack a wolf. That'll hit. Eight points of damage to this wolf. Kind of like this, Lex. Elita, you're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so mm -hmm. she's got she's garroted right now. She you're is garroted and grappled. Not happy about that. Uh, she's gonna try to <laughs> telekinetically shove this guy away. It's gonna make a strength save. Okay. Look what Elita needs to mimic a fraction of my power. Uh, that will be a six. <laughs> That's a failure. All right, is shoved five feet away, and uh, yeah, the rope falls off from your neck. And Alita's had a very rough past couple of days. Gonna commit a few war crimes. She's with. She's covered in frost. She can't. She's cold, covered in frost, and now this thing just snatched her out of the tent, trying to choke her, which doesn't really work. Uh, and she, her eyes are glowing orange as she stares at this thing, and her left arm is starting to like almost like electrify as she points at it. She says, "Fuck off!" And I'm gonna cast lightning bolt <laughs> right at this thing point blank. Okay, go ahead and roll it. That's a dex save. Ooh, there's some good numbers. Uh, yeah, it's a dex save. Ooh, uh, that's a twenty-two to save. Fuck. Well, it's a, so I got get some decent numbers at least. Twelve. Twenty-two. Telekinetic shove didn't knock it into a wall and knock it prone or anything? Nope. I tried. 
29 damage. 29 halved to 14. All right. Solid. Big orange lightning bolt launches out and strikes into the wall, shattering ice and stone. As the creature is able to dodge uh, a little bit out of the way, but catches some of it and snarls in pain, a little bit singed on the side of its one side of its body. All right, yeah, that, and she is going to use her movement, and uh, I'm gonna roll to see which direction she goes. Uh, she's gonna start going left. Okay. Uh, she sees the wolf and is like, "Well, you have 15 feet of movement." Oh yeah, that's right. So I go this way, just kind of like struggling to move, trying Ugh. to stomp off. Yep. Uh, and she sees the wolf, though. And she's like, oh, Luz is that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Star wolf. That's your turn. Uh, this ghoul is going to attack a wolf. That'll hit. Ooh, big roll. Uh, 11, 13 points of damage. That wolf is gone. Poofs into smoke. Wait, no. It, how? It... I rolled had, max, max HP. Had, yeah, it got hit by the first school and then got hit by oh, the second school. Gotcha. Both school. Luz hurts a little. She feels it. Her soul. A single starry tear uh, rolls down her cheek. It is going to run towards you, Luz. Well. Uh, take two attack of opportunities from uh, the wolves if you'd like. Yes, I would like. That is a. 12 for the first one. Uh, 12 will hit. Sweet. And then a 22. 22 will also hit. The first one is 6 damage. The second one is 5. 6 damage and 5 damage. <laughs> It runs towards you and is grabbed by the ankle by both both of your wolves and dragged to the ground and ripped apart. And it nice, dies. go wolfy babies. Uh, I mean, baby. Up. Uh, Eileen wakes up, stands oh, wait, up. Sorry, real quick before yep. you go. Sorry. Um, Elita. Oh no. Coming out from the wall near you is this large, like, blue-skinned, undeathy-looking, large, humanoidish, oh, no. giantish-looking creature oh. that just like, <laughs> shatters the ice. <laughs> oh, looks like, at you. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now you can go, Eileen. Okay. Um, I see Asar just fighting one creature. How's the creature look that he's fighting? Uh, untouched. Untouched. Audius there. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll fight it with him there as well. I'll move up 20 feet. And I will attack the creature that Asar is fighting. I'm going to activate my Runecrest of Wrath. Okay. Uh, it's 25% more damage. Of energy washes over you. Uh, what is to hit? Uh, 13 on the first attack. 13 to hit will hit. Okay. Make sure Jolt's on there. Six points of damage. Seven points of damage. So nine points of damage. Nine points, and then I'm going to pump in a uh, first level smite. Okay. For ew, double natural ones on that. It's three D. Damn. Undead. Oh, it is undead. That's true. <laughs> that is uh the oh, seventh. No. That's oh a seventh God. natural That's one on the night. Wild. That is literally minimum damage on That's everything. Fucking wild. Well, no, the you... jolt. Oh yeah, no. the jolt did roll one. Even though, the even count. the regular attack. Oh yeah, you're right. That's the Damn. eighth natural one of the night for me. Damn, that's fucking wild. Out of ten Damn, rolls, I'm so I sorry. rolled eight one, natural ones. One one one. That's rough. Fuck. Uh, that is rough. Man. Offhand. Uh, four extra points of radiant damage. Woo! <laughs> Offhand. Come on. That just sounds me. like a wet fart. That'll hit. <laughs> ten points. There we go. Eh. <laughs> 
you fire off the shot and it splinters through its body and just takes off the entire top half and it drops to the ground. <laughs> Did it so look undead? Uh, yes. I'm gonna trade... Oh, let me read oh, that wait, armor. actually, hold on. I need to roll something. Oh, actually, it almost oh, falls apart. fuck. It stays alive with the... Dead endurance. It stays alive with uh, one hit point. No. Last, sta last man standing or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, Undead fortitude. There we okay. go. Okay. Um, I'm Does going to exchange to 30 feet of my movement in order to get a second bonus action. Ooh. Okay. Can I uh, load my weapon with silver bullets? You can. Your offhand, you can load. Yeah. Okay. I'll put one silver bullet in my offhand. Okay. You put a silver bullet into your offhand. The mithril armor on a uh, chest, like breastplate on your body, like a small flare of a gray glow, <laughs> uh, kind of flashes, and you feel a slight bit of increased haste. Okay. As you get another bonus action. And then I just realized I still have an extra attack, so I can just attack one more time with uh, main hand against this zombie thing. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Uh, 21 to hit, 10 points of damage. All right, another save. I plus the damage taken. 15. Now it gets uh, lopped in half by that last shot. Gotcha. Did the other one not have that, or you just forgot? The other well, it was piece. a different creature. The other one the was a different creature. It was a different, different type of creature. Gotcha. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was the same thing that grabbed loose at the beginning, it looked like. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, That's my turn. Yep, that's my turn. All right. It's all right, you're up. Uh, Isar can't see shit. Nope. I need a light. You feel your hammer drop at your feet, though. Real yeah, yeah, quick, no. Isar picks uh, up his hammer. I have 60 feet of dark vision. Can I see over here? Uh, uh yes. You can. Isar can't see shit. Does he know the general direction audio went? Make a perception check. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> cool. In pitch black, gunshots well, ring out towards you, and then that's it. Yeah. Um, okay, what dice should I roll to pick a direction? Wait, 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 wait. You saw the direction from which the, the flashes of my gun. Because all of this is happening at the same time, Chris. If you remember how this works, it's like a pie. <laughs> D &D it's like it's a six pie. seconds. <laughs> you remember how this works, Chris? Wow. <laughs> So I don't know which way Adia went, but did I see... I, I definitely saw the, the yeah. gunshots. You saw Eileen oh. shoot, yeah. Okay, yeah. Isar is going to go yeah. towards uh, Eileen. Uh, is is the camp this way? Am I going the right direction? No. <laughs> which way should I go? That way, and I point down the hall. I can't see, I can't see a, <laughs> a hand. Oh. I, I reaction, I'm going to put the point. I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna roll D4. <laughs> That's the direction it's is gonna go from here. Uh, that was a one. He's gonna go back the way he came. <laughs> He's not that dumb. There's no shot. Okay, it, then if it was a, uh... he's gonna go right. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. So yeah, he's going towards Adia. He bumps into Adia. Yeah. That's <laughs> where it runs into Adia. Which way is the camp? I need to I need light. I, I, can't, I don't think I can answer you yet, can I? Yeah, you can answer, you can oh, okay. talk. Adi's just looking at you and then she she you know, she just points in the direction where she got the Another hammer. point! <laughs> or like, feels Adi's <laughs> face and then towards where the hand <laughs> is pointing to find the direction. He's gonna use his bonus action to uh, sprint towards his pack. <laughs> Sprinting okay. in the dark. Make, make an investigation check for me as yeah. you look around yeah. for the In the, the dark? Pack. Oh no. That's a 13. A man's going to hit a wall or a rock and hurt <laughs> 13 himself. 13 plus, I think, 1. 14. Okay, you That's run into the tent, and then you, you're you like, okay, there's the tent. You reorient yourself based on where you know the tent was and where your stuff was. You oh, go would it have been a disadvantage? Would, would it have been a disadvantage? For, the <laughs> for investigation? Actually, yeah, yeah. It would. Okay, 13 for first roll. That's a 5. Uh, so that's a six total now. Six total. <laughs> uh, it'll it'll take you the rest of your, or it'll take it until your next turn to find your pack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All that's right. my turn. Lose, you're up. 
cool 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 um okay so there's still that one dude left um i would like to uh activate with my bonus action i am going to do my starry form okay um, i'm going to use the dragon form uh, fucking what I never use it because I always have to heal people. <laughs> Time for the mystical hail. Um, yeah, so uh I uh, it it's just to help me maintain my concentration. Spells. So yeah, I'm gonna use that as my bonus action, and then as my action I am going to uh well i'm gonna move first i don't want to be any of this guy i'm in here can i see alita uh make a perception check okay that is an 18 18 uh yeah i'd say as you're running through the caverns you can see off in the distance kind of like through the uh the shoot uh what looks like alita so you're hobbling away from the giant zombie <laughs> alita <laughs> um, yes. and i'm going to uh cast healing word on her what's the range on healing word it is 60 feet okay Yep, you cast healing word. You heal you heal me the max. <laughs> Four plus five is nine. Um, All I needed was six. <laughs> well, you know, you did it. Okay, so that, that's my turn. All right. <laughs> End of your turn. Undead wolf spawn. They're not undead. I'm saying Chris spawns undead. Oh. No, don't bring undead wolves. We have real... Yes, bring more wolves. <laughs> Break more. the record for how many wolves you can get on one bat battle map. Well, technically, if I cast a spell at a higher level, I could have more wolves. But, like, I don't have the spell slots yet. Uh, I hear you up. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, be prepared. You look over and you see Isar fumbling in the dark. <laughs> He'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll find his way. He's good. It's, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I. It's, I just like. Oh, she's gonna go up to Eileen and be like, "Which, which way? Which way?" You hear sounds coming <laughs> oh. from. Oh. Oh. Okay. Fuck, what did Eileen know? Which way? Heard, which way? I heard the sound of a lightning bolt. I woke up six yeah. seconds ago and shot something that was attacking Asar. <laughs> That's my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, you heard a, you heard the sound of a literal lightning bolt striking into a wall of stone and ice and shattering down Adio. that hallway. Okay, Adio will move. Oh, how do I do this again? <laughs> oh no. Left I, click first. I'm not doing it. Left click, yep. Hold and, it. Uh, and Rika, right click. You're, Rika, you're on your measure tool. Fuck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in you, Rika. Oh, there we go. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah! Okay. The music Hell swells yeah. with Rika's sudden discovery. <laughs> I power! Okay. She's learning. So that's, that's my She's movement. learning to believe. I can 12 feet. <laughs> Bong! <laughs> and, okay, and then she will do a dash action to move another 30 feet. I can't see because of my HP bar, goddammit. As a bonus? No, as a, as an action, she's gonna do the dash. Oh, okay. I, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, she's, as an action, she's gonna do a dash, and then she's gonna go here and then do a hide. Try to hide mm. against the wall, I guess. Okay. Try. Go ahead. Uh, go, 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 go. Stealth. Come on. Oh my god, 13. Okay. Now your turn? Yeah, yeah that's my turn. All right. It is nope. the large 
undead creature's turn, it is going to loom over to Elita and raise a large, like, frozen-looking dark morning star and just slam down <gasps> onto Elita. Uh-oh. Natural 20. No. Um, that is a 10 to hit. Nope. And second attack, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, reaction to cast shield, that will bring my AC to 17. All right. Nice. Large, nice. uh, Morningstar mace slams down next to you, comes back up and around, swings on top of you, and the barrier bubble shield out of Halo, uh, appears overhead and oh. rejects it. That'll be its turn. Um, this creature... Is going to shadow self. Coward. <laughs> yeah, where the fuck that one that I punched into the ground? Yeah, go? yeah, I'm kind of gone about... for a while. Yeah. He's gonna jump on his start while he's looking for a <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so funny. You're gonna be in a tent with that thing on your back. <laughs> uh, Luce. Yes. You take nine points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you are teleported. Oh. That's where they went. I... Why are you teleported? Where did you go? I don't know. Up here. But we can't see what's up there yet. <laughs> By God. Another cave. By God. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Make a, a constitution saving throw for concentration. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Um, That is a 21. 21, okay. Uh, you keep your concentration, but you are grappled and cool. eroded. That'll cool. Be his turn. The wolves are up. My wolves! <laughs> Come after me! <laughs> um... This wolf is gonna run past. Gonna, gonna dash, actually, this one. Dishity dash. Dishity dash? There now. This one. Also going to run around. So they don't know where you are. No, I know. Okay. But they can see... There, there are places to go, right? And I have... Yeah. yeah. Uh, that wolf gets hit. Oh, okay. As it runs away from the ghoul. That's fair. And takes 10 points of damage. Ow, okay. I don't know which one From a chicken, you hit. I, I got it, I got it. Okay, cool, thanks. Um, This one's gonna attack that guy. Okay. That is 19. Yep, that hits. Okay. That is a... Why can't I do this easily? A six? <laughs> six, all right. Six Great points damage. of damage. And um, rips its throat out. Sick. Okay, now... This wolf is... It's 42 go here okay then i just need to move these guys they're all they're packed so they move together wolves having a little powwow in the center area there yeah That's they're kind of nipping they're kinda, its ass <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of figuring out what's going on okay just like... <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> you smell what the lose is cooking. Wait, they're gonna see a cat poorly hiding against a cave wall. They might. They know, they know oh. it's a friend. Uh, dogs hate cats. That's all I'm saying. That's not a cat. It's just not a. First of all, that's not a cat, and that's not a. That's not a dog. Yeah. Whale. <laughs> whale. It's a face We're... spirit taking the. Form okay. Of the cool. Dog. And a cat. All right. That's, that's Wolves. Lita, you dogs. are up. You are up. Okay. Um, yeah, this thing is coming at me. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action. Um, hmm. 
I'm going to use my bonus action to try to shove this thing away from me. Okay. Uh, that's a strength save. Uh, uh, where is its strength? 11. That's a failure. All right. It is shoved backwards five feet. Yep. I'm then going to use my action to dash uh, up to here. I'm just gonna, I see I just see there's a pack of wolves. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, that seems like the place to be. They match. They match her aesthetic. Hmm. All right. That your turn. Yep. I am hiding behind the wolf. <laughs> Eileen, you're up. Okay. Eileen is going to run the same direction as. Oh. Um. Audia. I don't know where Audia is. I don't think. Do I? I think you should. It's thirteenth <laughs> style. <laughs> I have 45. Is there another path this way, or is that a wall? No, no, every, everything is revealed right now. Do I have line of sight to the creature? Sure. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will shoot at it with my main hand. <laughs> and... Natural one. Come on, don't do this to me. 13 to hit. Eh. 13 will not hit. Okay. I will shoot again. Seems to be wearing like this undead looking very large, like half giant creature seems to be wearing some like scattered bits of uh, armor over its body. Mm. But that 26 will hit. Okay. I'm going to pump a second level smite into it. It is undead. Okay. Uh, second level is 3d8, so, so 48. Ooh. 2, 17, plus 19, 36. It's 45 points of damage. Damn. Big hit. Massive. Wow. Just large, like, crushing blow of a uh, strike of what looks almost like lightning just <clears throat> crashes down from above as the bullet strikes with a divine light flash for 45 points of damage. Definitely a heavy, heavy hit. And then I will shoot with my offhand. Silver bullet. Yep. I don't know if that does anything extra, but if it doesn't, I don't think it does. Um, offhand, 25 to hit. hit. Ignore the... Oh, jolt off. No, we're good. Was jolt off for the other one? No. It's a... Max 13 damage. points of damage. 13 max damage. Points. Big. Plus Big 25% damage. or whatever. Yep. Uh, so that is 17. Big turn. And damn it, 62 damage, and you missed your first attack. Damn, <laughs> yeah. fuck, dude. All right, that's it. All right. Wow, good job, Eileen. Um, I'm still sleeping. One sec. These are the dragon's little babies, just so you know. Oh, definitely. Cat. I don't yeah, know if they, they are. These, these are his cats. <laughs> Maybe not babies, but they are. I think they're his pet. They're his feral barn cats. <laughs> Failed rejects. Uh, before your turn, SR. A skeleton pops up at your feet and stands <laughs> up. Not, not that you can see, but <laughs> not that you can see. <laughs> but you hear the clanking of bones. Uh, it's a baby. What? Looks like a baby skeleton. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> so small. I thought you when he said clank. I wasn't looking at the picture, and so when you he said clanking of bones, and you responded with "It's a baby," I was very <laughs> confused. Yeah, that's a twenty to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Uh, you take seven points of piercing damage as a short sword plunges into you. Oh, cool. And now it's your turn. <laughs> Can I sort of find a torch? 
Uh, yeah, at the start of your turn, you find a torch on the ground. Okay, uh, item interaction to, to light it. Okay. <laughs> you light the torch and light appears around you. You see the skeleton standing there that just stabbed you. I stick it in the tall. skeleton's mouth. You stick the torch? I, I stab it with the torch that's currently in my hand. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack. I don't know what Which I roll for that. Strength. Just a strength. I'm I, I, no proficiency. I don't know how torch attacks work. Uh, I think it's an improvised no weapon. Yeah, it's improvised. That is still a twenty-one to hit. Damn. Twenty-one will hit. Or thirty um, twenty, I think. Sixteen plus four. Yeah. Go ahead and roll uh, a D four. The four. Four. Okay. Um, and then add your strength. Four. So eight. So eight points of fire damage as you shove this torch into the <laughs> skeleton's mouth. Nice. All right. Can part of it count as bludgeoning damage because it's a blunted object? Um. <laughs> I mean, you said like shove it in its mouth, not whack it with it. Oh, oh, I mean, okay, but I feel like a stab with a torch is still there's still gonna be some. I guess, yeah. I just, All I right. want to, uh, you know, out of character, I, I wanted to activate my crusher because it's bludgeoning damage. I see. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, so knock it, you know, five feet away from me, but it's up against wall. It's really, but, you know, whatever. I mean, you can't you knock it any direction you want, though? True, true. Yeah, I mean, I try and, you know, just get it slightly out of range, and then I uh, pick up okay. my hammer... <laughs> drop the torch on the ground because I have to two-hand the hammer, and then I swing and hit the uh, hit the skeleton with my hammer. Okay. <laughs> the 17 plus 8 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. You, you fucking flatten it. it I, like, there's no way you do uh, little eight, enough damage. 8 plus 5. So yeah. 13. You fucking 13. Yeah. Gallagher this thing and just shards <laughs> of bone shoot everywhere. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> it starts going to pick up his torch again uh, and look around. Nobody's around it. No. Huh. <laughs> uh, Isar is going to take a moment to uh, second wind. Okay. He's gotten hit quite a bit. That is uh, 7 plus 6, so plus 13. And then, oh, no, why did it just open Crunchyroll? That is not what I wanted. <laughs> well, I don't even know what I hit. Why is it opening hentai? Stop, what's happening? Why is it? There's I, I anime titties actually... all over my screen. <laughs> Cloud. Damn it. Why does well, this keep happening? No, take a break. I, I, hit, not I, have, I have Crunchyroll bookmark at the top of my page, and I accidentally hit it. Back. Uh, Isar will, God, fuck. Uh, he's gonna move thirty feet up to here with his torch. That's his turn. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. That is your turn, Luz. You're up. Okay. Luz is can't speak or any of that crap again. Yep, you are grooded. Ah, oh, fuck it. Okay. Luz is going to um, just try and get out of it again. Okay, athletics or acrobatics? Um, that is a 15. Fifth with disadvantage? Oh. Yes. <laughs> 15? Okay, you yeah. are able to break free. Cool. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Luz breaks free and is going to turn around and I don't know why this would work. Um, does it have a weapon? Yeah, it has a weapon. It does. It has a okay. shadowy blade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, it's kind All of right. just... It's just a regular short sword, but there's like shadowy energy coming from it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Not a cool shadow blade spell. Oh, I don't. This. Okay, I am going to use Misty Step. Okay. 
myself 30 feet away. Bonk. Alrighty, you flash and appear 30 feet away. Yep. Their turn. Then I am going to... Oh, I can see you guys. Ah! Hi! <laughs> yeah, um. Eileen and Nadia, you see uh, Luz just blink into existence next to you, a little bit away from you. Hi, Luz! Hi! Um, these things are terrifying! I've got wolves around the corner! One what? sec! <laughs> what? what <a> um. <laughs> I've got wolves around the corner. What yeah, things? horses in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am going to use my movement to get it. Oh, here, because I can hear my babies mm, doing their little howly howls. Oh, oh. Oh. Um, <laughs> <It's> fucking moo. <laughs> moo. <laughs> These are some weird <laughs> dogs. Jacob, we were supposed <laughs> as wolves, not cows. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So they are fake creatures. They aren't actually wolves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe they forgot that they're wolves. <laughs> Probably. It seems like a loose thing. Uh. Um, and then I am going to use my sorry. My action to cast um concentrating on that. Oh, I am going to, can I hold my action at this point? Sure. For um, the next enemy who comes by, I want to hit them with a guiding bolt. Okay. You are holding, oh, well, that would actually be your concentration if you want. Oh, to you're right. Shit. No. Okay. So never mind, because I like my wolves. Friends, my wolves. I think I will cast Shillelagh on my quarterstaff. Cool. That's a bonk. In case I have to. All right. Is where the fuck is that other one that was fighting? Good question. Yeah, we haven't seen it in a fucking long time. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> SR, you are grabbed from behind and blink <laughs> God across. damn it, not again! <laughs> you are garroted. You take six points of bludgeoning damage. Alright. And the creature has grabbed you again. Oh, god damn it. Um, this is a second attack, though. But that is its turn. Adia, you're up. Okay, uh, do I hear it start yelling again from all the way back there? You hear uh, it start yelling no. and then it gets much quieter. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Adia is gonna try to move out a little bit next to Eileen and then chuck... Wait, actually, that is... Did my torch come with me? <laughs> I think so. Um, right? you were holding it, yeah. Okay. Okay, Adia is gonna throw a knife at the this thing. At the big boy. Okay. Uh, Chuck. Ye oh, does it, is, is it? Did it notice me? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, fuck. It sure did. Yeah. Okay. And it the sure second... did. <laughs> Blade goes and just flies into the ice next to it. All right. Offhand. Does that hit? hit? Okay. She is going to add a psionic strike to it. Okay. As well. Oops. Sorry. I don't have the ice from my at first and then do this <laughs> wow okay 12 points of damage yep uh, and then... it is going to oh. use its reaction to berserk uh, oh. uh it is able to move its speed and make two attacks good thing it is going two to of us. run past the, <laughs> um, like, the wolf uh okay and is going to make two attacks at uh, just shove the wolf to the side and then make two attacks at Alita. The wolf's what? gonna bite. I, well, the wolf is still in range. Doesn't it have to make an athletics check to try to push it out of the way? 
Um, yeah, I guess it does. Better roll great for that wolf. Well, the wolf doesn't roll. Oh. Yeah, it it pushes the wolf out of the way. <laughs> um, baby. the wolf literally can't do better. And yeah, it no. is going to make two attacks at you, Alita. Wait, this is really oh. bad, actually. For... Why is it focusing on Alita? Alita is cursed. Oh. Uh. Oh, does it? That's gonna be a it's fourteen to hit. A uh, fourteen. Yep, fourteen to hit. Shield. Okay, shield. Uh, barrier pops up between you again. And uh, thirteen to hit misses. Shield, Shield blocking rolls. both of the barrier or both of the attacks, just slamming on the barrier. Mm. And uh, yeah, that's its reaction. God damn it! Leave me alone. <laughs> Adi, so your turn, Adia. Yep, Adi, seeing it just run off, she's like, oh, <laughs> and, then, and then she's gonna try to like, uh, she's gonna move the rest of her movement from here. So that's. Oh wait, I forgot to do the thing. So she's gonna move here for the. I think that's the rest of her, for yep. her movement, and then she's gonna do a bonus action to dash, and then try to get behind this guy. Okay. Boy. Sounds good. Come on. Your turn. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Okay. It is the undead half giant's turn. It is going to make two attacks at Alita. First attack. Wait, didn't already? That was, that was reaction. 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 It went mm. berserk. It went slappies. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. Oh god. Yeah, that'll hit. Take four. 12 points of bludgeoning damage. It slams the morning star on you. All right, it takes 15 cold damage. Okay. Uh, it takes half of that. It did 12 damage total? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah 8 plus 4, 12. And then second attack on you. Uh, more. Uh. That's... Uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. And, ooh, 11... 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, fuck. Does oh, your false life trigger? Uh, oh, yeah, false life. Oh, uh, thank you for reminding me. That will be a. It was like a D4 plus. Yeah, a, D, a D4 plus 9. Yep, so you put yourself to half first and then you subtract. That would be bring so you me down. Go to like... 14 first. Six. Then I get. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> almost max for three. Uh, for 12 temporary hit points. Okay. The total yeah. hit was 15 points of damage. So how much did you take already? Seven. So that took would seven. be. Six. Another eight. Another eight? All right, yeah. Uh, that would be four temperature. Yeah. All right. That will be its turn. It is. Uh, it's going to shadow stealth. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh no, now Eileen's going on an adventure. Eileen is yoinked away. Eileen, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as you are now grappled and garroted. Plus 20%, so eight points of is damage. She, is she also cursed, or is that just the one time thing at the beginning? Uh, also cursed, yeah. If you get teleported, you get cursed. Uh, eight points total. Um. Well, it was six points. Plus, plus 20% because of my wrath. Uh, 
Right, yeah, so eight points. Uh, you are cursed, and then it'll make its second, it'll make a short sword attack at you. Uh, no. That's even with advantage. Well, uh, dog shit. Mm. That's its turn. Wolves are up. Okay, cool. The wolves are going to, well, this one particularly, will attack. Okay. Is it? Well, technically, my friends are its allies. Yeah. So, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, okay, that is a 16. 16 will hit. That is a 6 damage. 6 points of damage. It is going to use its reaction to Berserk. Uh, and make 2 attacks at advantage at Alita. Wow, cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, natural 18 will definitely hit. Yeah. <gasps> You take... <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, no. Uh -oh. That's almost max. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 19 points of damage. Mm. I'm down. down. Okay, my wolves will stand over your body. Oh, God. But it's and got one more attack. Second attack. Yeah, oh, wait, Alita it. could die. Alita's up next. Oh, take... wait, 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 wait. Return, return, get advantage on death saving throws, don't they? Yeah, I, I do, but last time, like, I, I still, I failed, so... Eh. You take Ow. two death saving throw failures. Yeah. Uh, wolf, still up. Oh my your, god. Your wolves are still up. Okay, don't, can... Don't attack it again. <laughs> well, no, now it uses reaction. It's not, it can't okay, do that again right, until right. its next turn. You're yeah. Right. Okay, so this wolf is going to step over Alita's body as protection. Um, and also to... You could have the wolves drag Alita away. And I? Oh, they're going to do that then. This boy's going to drag force Alita away. Doesn't, well, it doesn't have his reaction anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but so. Force, force movement does not cause uh, attacks of opportunity. Okay, so yeah, this wolf is going to pull. Now that my baby's nowhere, this wolf is going to pull Alita over towards. Okay. Um, I can't move Alita's token, but. Yeah, Alita, you get pulled over here. Yeah. And then that frees up all of the room for these guys to come in and go munch, munch, munch. Okay. Munch, munch, And munch. also Eight, block the attacks. way. Okay. Yeah. Two attacks <laughs> and advantage. Yes. That is a 14 for the first one. Will not hit. And a... 19 for the second. Will hit. That is a five points damage. Okay. Um, and can I can, can my wolves be somewhat smart and like one of them back out and the other one come in so they can alternate bites? Uh, like yeah, sure. Okay, so I want to get two more bites in by rotating. Uh, it is not prone. It fails the saving throw. Okay. Can one of the wolves make a medicine check to stabilize? <laughs> <laughs> can one of the wolves stabilize? I don't a think they can. <laughs> I'm sorry. Lick the wound. Lick the wound. Saliva can close wounds. I mean, hey, I we got you a diamond, so <laughs> look, we paid for a diamond. We're gonna use that diamond. <laughs> Aaliyah gave uh, you most of your for that diamond. So I got a nat twenty on the wolf attack. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so you do not need to roll. Actually, yes, you do, because it has undead fortitude. Okay. Um. So that's going to be 2d4, so 8 plus a regular roll. So roll 2d4 plus 2. So that is 7 plus. 7 plus 8. eight. So 15 points of damage. <coughs> Save. Ooh. Uh, it saves. It drops Damn to it. one hit point. Okay. Well, then, you know, it's going to get attacked by the next wolf. Okay. Okay, that was Adam. All right. 18? Yep, that'll hit. And that is a 3 plus 2. 5 points. And the DC is and 
Yep, saves again. Still at one hit point. Oh, fuck that shit. Okay, I have one more wolf who can attack. Okay. And that's all the wolves. Very many wolves. Wolves are all rushing, bite, that's leap backwards out. Again! Damn. All right. Uh, so 2d4 plus 2 and then plus 8. Uh, 6 plus 8, 4. 14. All yes. right. So DC is 19. That's cocked. Uh, fails. It is ripped to shreds. The wolves all leaping nice. in, biting, pulling back, leaping in, biting, pulling back, just yanking bits and chunks off of it, and it is ripped apart. Oh, good. Okay. Alita, cool. make a death saving throw with advantage because ah. you're reborn. Two, two favorite dice. <laughs> Don't fail me now. <laughs> oh, 18. 18. One success, two failures. Oh. Eileen, you're up. You are garroted, so you cannot speak and you are grappled, so you cannot move. Okay. So does this count as me having zero movement? Yes, zero movement. So I couldn't sacrifice movement because I don't have any nope. movement. Okay. You currently have no movement. Okay. Um, can I attack with my offhand? You could attack with your main hand. It has no bullets in it right now. Could I reload um, it? Uh, I couldn't reload it. Yeah. As your first attack, attack, you can reload it. Right. Yes. Okay, I will reload it. Okay. First attack is reload. And then I will... Attack it. Okay. Second attack. Go ahead and shoot. Wait, that hit last time. 13 on this creature. It hit last time? It hit a zombie. It didn't hit one of these. Yeah, no. Does does not hit one of these. Okay. 13 misses on this creature. Okay, I'll attack so offhand. Your... Okay. Bonus action. Even worse. Now, turn around and try to fire behind you, but it's holding you from the backside. You can't quite reach. There, that's your action. You still have a bone? No, you don't use your bonus. That, that's action, bonus action. All right, that's your turn. Yeah, that's it. Isar, you're up. Isar has been Isar in this situation also... in the same <laughs> spot before, and he's going to try for the same thing. He's going to our deer and strike concuss and this thing is on his back and he's going to try and uh headbutt it you off. You can use your hammer. I don't want to. I think it's cooler to do it this way. <laughs> okay. I imagine this thing is latched onto my back right now, garroting me, and I don't know how Isar could physically like hammer behind him with any sort of accuracy. Okay. <laughs> Fucking that's not gonna hit <laughs> it was a two. Mm. Try to swing your head you know backwards what? and you it does this time. I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. I can do that right after I roll. It's not like a before thing. Yep. Like the... Okay. <laughs> Five for 12. Nope. All right. Uh, it learned from the last time you headbutted it and moves out of the way. All right. But it didn't expect a second head. <laughs> That Give one is is twenty to hit. That'll hit. It's All like right. ha, I've done. <laughs> Boom. And it just comes back again. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll roll a rebound. I'm fine. Mark off my last strike. Uh, needs a strength saving throw. Strength save. That's eleven. That fails by more than five. Well, it fails by five. Which I, I think... think the wording is by more than five, five or is it by five or, or more? more? Five, five or more. more. Okay, yeah. so it's launched 20 feet backwards up against the wall and falls prone. Isar turns around, walks towards it with his hammer, and action surges and swings twice at it. Advantage on both. Advantage on both. That is uh, 21 to hit for the first one. That'll hit. For... Uh, 8 plus 5. 13 points of damage on the first one. Okay, 13. And then the next one is a 19 to hit. Yep. Or 8 plus 5 for another 13 points of damage. 
All right, it's looking pretty hurt. And then Isar is going to use Crush on it. I need a charisma saving throw. All right, how many uh, three. Numa are you using? Three? three All right. Charisma saving throw. Uh, 11. That will fail. So that is right. 3d6. You reach, oh, wow. grab hold of this creature's life essence. You can see little tethers of it reaching off of its body, and you None crush these, it down. I, I, <laughs> hey, does great weapon fighting work with these? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, seven points of damage. Three, three, one. Grasp hold of its life essence and crush down on it as you see it and grab hold for seven points as its body just contorts with pain. And that is my turn. All right. It starts just looming over it. I think that's the first time you've used Crush before. I think I tried to use it once before, and it didn't work. I think something made a save on it. It's Saber Suck, isn't it? Yeah, it's Saber Suck. Yeah. And that's I think this is the first time it's worked. Yeah. You definitely feel powerful as you use it. Like, you, you can, like, see and grab hold, literally, of a creature's life essence and squeeze down on it. Uh, it's a very strange power dynamic that you feel right now. Uh, this thing but... said I would lose everything, right? Yeah. That was its wording? Yeah, Isar kind of, like, kneels down. It says, you were wrong. It's you. <laughs> uh, Luce, you're up. As right. Lita lays before you unconscious and dying. With my with my wolf over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, dragged, on her. dragged by like the, the back of the cloak <laughs> and just dropped on right in front of you. <laughs> oh, woo. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, basically dropped to my knees and uh, pump in to her the healing of the cure wound. Um, okay. But I'll go at second level. Cool, cool. Um, 2d8 plus 5. I'm knocking things over. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Five plus two plus five. Twelve. Twelve points back to you, Alita, and you are brought back to consciousness. Her eyes, glossy orange eyes open up, and she's like, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I keep telling you. I don't know why you do this. <laughs> All right. As your action, Luz. Um, and as my bonus, I need the lead alone. <laughs> as my bonus section, I'm going to guess. Um, no, what? Yeah. 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 God. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my um. My my other action, my my bonus action. You know the other action. I'm gonna use that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> to cast right. healing word. Okay. Also on uh, Elite at first level. Okay. Which is a seven. Seven points to you, I'm Elita. Nice. All Rejuvenated. Right. And then I'm going to stand back up and point out into the distance and say, Go forth, my wolves! <laughs> Fly, my pretties! <laughs> and, and, and run in that direction. Alrighty. That's your turn. This creature is going to stand up next to you, SR, and is going to make an attack with the short sword. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Yes, that hits. Thanks. 10 points of piercing damage. Take it. And 5 points of necrotic. OK. 
Okay. Isar do be hurt. <laughs> um, and then it's going to scowl at you. Ah, disgusting. And is going to use a bonus action to shadow stealth. Can it shadow and... stealth while in light? Because I bet you. Oh, you are carrying your torch. That's true. It cannot do that. Oh, it tries. It goes. Ah, you ah, ain't ah, going ah. nowhere. <laughs> That's true. You're um, in my house now. It is going to attempt to hey, strike your torch. Okay. I don't know what the AC for my this torch. Other is. attack. Uh, I'm just using your AC. Okay. Um, that is 18 to hit. That will hit. Swipes at the torch and it is cut out and darkness takes hold again. Ah, fucking god damn it. Um, bonus action will shadow self, and you can sense and hear, although you cannot see, that it leaves your range. But you I can try make it. an attack of opportunity at disadvantage if you like. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna use human determination to make it a straight up roll. Okay. Go for it. That was a lot of spin. Holy shit, that's been a long time. That is 21 to hit. That will hit. Go ahead and roll damage. All right. That is 2d6. Double fives. 15 points of damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Woo! It's our here's where it's going and just takes out its legs from under it and swings down one last time on it. All right. You hear it. the light goes out. You can no, no longer see, but you see as it, it fades into the darkness and you hear the sound of footsteps move quietly along the ground. You rear around and <clears throat> crack it across the legs, falls to the ground, follow up with another strike, and just <clears throat> splat into the ground. Unmoving. And I heal. <laughs> I went, yep. oh, I should have been healing. I completely forgot about the other things that died around me. Damn it. All right, I'll be fine. My fault for forgetting. Uh, it's two, two plus level, so eight. All right. And Adia, your turn. Okay, Am I still cursed? Um, that was the creature that cast. It ice. was. It was the creature that cursed you. So now you are no longer cursed. Am I cursed? Uh, I yes. The other two have died. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, the one that cursed you and Alita is the one that's by uh, Eileen. Oh great! Sorry, Eileen. Out of here. Okay, Adia is gonna just follow where Alita was dragged. <laughs> Um, and she's gonna end up here and just seeing Alita just still on the ground. She's like, uh, Alita, what took you away? What's going on? And she's gonna take the dodge just action. Look, just look up at the wolves. <laughs> okay. Saviors. Yeah, uh, she, all right. That's your yeah, turn. She's, ta she's taking the dodge action and I, I guess hide if she can behind a wolf. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You're hiding um, something. Yeah, this creature is going to kind of gauge its situation. Ah, not worth it. And is going to shadow stealth and let go of you, Eileen. And uh, you sense it leave your attack range. But is invisible. Do the invisible thing. You've done it before. I don't think I can attack it with range, right? No, you can't shoot as a reaction. Well, you know where we go you with this. It. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah. attack at disadvantage. We biting. <laughs> so use your con modifier your, and your profici proficiency. Good. Well. 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 Uh, you reach around and try to bite, but not able to strike into anything. Uh, Eileen's it never been good at the reach arounds. Invisible, and I don't think <laughs> any of you have enough perception i have or, a passive or, 18. but you don't have anything to see invisibility do you not on uh, just a general space no i don't think it, you have the dark vision to see eileen right now can i see through the illusion i can see through illusions right you can attempt to see through illusions if you know that they're there oh, I don't or if, know. If, if you're looking at a thing that might have an illusion okay. yeah i don't know that invisibility also, doesn't count i also have not seen any of these creatures actually so I don't Never yeah. Mind. Like, what the fuck is everyone complaining about? These things yeah. are easy to kill. 
Um, yeah, I mean, we are effectively out of combat then, because this thing just escapes. Yeah, Isar comes around the corner, eventually dragging the body of the one that he slayed. Alita just kind of stays on the floor for a little bit. <laughs> Rethinking her life choices. Luz will come back and heal, heal you more. Isar goes over to the camp and grabs another one of his torches. <laughs> Alina's is already trying to go back to sleep. Wouldn't good berries like? You're a good friend, Luz. Up, uh, I uh, th th thank you. I Eric. Just glad nobody's dead. I'm glad you're not dead. Well, we haven't seen a Sar and Aline for a while. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> God, off, was not yeah, you guys did hear two gunshots go off in the other room. <laughs> Literally, Isar with his fucking torch. Sound off. Uh, yeah, Luz, as she starts booking it over in that direction, she will um, dump another healing word into Alita. Yeah, Isar, um, mark off another torch. I did, oh, I did. I have, I have that's destroyed. nine. Yeah. I had eight, now I have six. I Nine help Alita more. over to the camp. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of like hobbles her way over. Uh, Luz is yelling, It's our Aline! Aline! It's our! It's our, it's just like holding a torch in one hand and the leg of that creature in the other, and it's just like, Yes? <laughs> oh, thank God you're alive. All of my wolves come running after me. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, so you could summon? They all kind of have your aesthetic. Yeah, they're, they're all like cuddling up to me and cuddling up to everyone. They're like real sweet. Oh, Alita's letting it happen because she's cold. <laughs> <laughs> they are warm. Oh, I should do that. <laughs> she kind of like just kind of drapes herself over over one of them, just exhausted from this night. Isar uh, like kind of sticks the torch between like two rocks or something to hold it up and begins examining the... Uh, body of the one that was killed trying to figure yeah, out what this is I just uh, make a nature show and somebody who is proficient in nature but doesn't want to get their hands dirty help isar do this sure i'm not proficient okay Luz? alex is looking at Luz right now <laughs> alex is i am i am i am looking i am looking at your character right now <laughs> isar gazes through the fourth wall <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Um, so, do you, would you like my help? I mean, I would appreciate it. I know you don't like getting your hands dirty. I don't mind it, but you seem more knowledgeable about this sort of thing. It's not that I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I you just don't like might. unnecessary violence. Um, and This was pretty necessary. They attacked us in our sleep. Yes, well, and what are you looking for? I want to identify this. What is this? <laughs> it. Why are you yelling at me? Make a nature check. You were on watch? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being an asshole right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted. That's 18 plus 8. 18 Can lose this plus roll 8? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm following yeah. Luz's lead. Um, yes, this creature is known as a measle. Uh, they are... <laughs> measle? They are, <laughs> fey, they are fey creatures that uh, went to the Shadowfell and were sort of infused with negative energy. And uh, they, they are very much tied to uh, negative energy in the, the realm of the Shadowfell, although they are fey-like creatures and they have been infused with that sort of energy. They are very grumpy and um, unhappy about creatures invading their space, and they are very much known for abducting and ambushing creatures that bother them or come near where they live and stuff like that. They are oh. intelligent creatures. Cool. Great. I tell that all to Asar. In just the most, like, textbook voice. Yeah, Sounds but like a they are very um, mad. They're very mad creatures. Mad. <laughs> mad. Uh, mad. 
They're they're very upset creatures that are not receptive to like you know talking things out. They just anything that yeah. comes and bothers them, they try to kill it. Wow, Joe, cool. What was the spell or energy that they were putting on it? Oh yeah, so um That's when spelled. a when a creature where when a measle uh does a is able to teleport other creatures with it uh, that it grabs to abduct them and ambush them. It can place upon them a baleful, a baleful curse that uh, lasts either for an hour or until the creature dies, and it basically acts as like a homing beacon for any undead. Any undead that are within 500 feet are able to sense uh, oh, cool. that curse and will immediately run towards it like it's an addictive drug they can't That's resist. a problem, because... We still have three curses. Yeah, we definitely don't know what was with within 500 of us do you know how long it lasts Liz? Wow. one hour or until the creature dies um hour or until the creature dies we all stay up another hour or if you can cure a curse another way oh i mean i could... does the spell magic cure a curse uh don't believe so i think i might be able no. to do it right there's a spell oh called yeah you remove could. curse can i hold remove on let me see I think you can. Nope, disease or poison. Yeah. Oh. Remove yeah, curse is a third level spell. Yeah. yeah, I don't have it though. I do have lesser restoration. Does that disease or condition curse? afflicting it? Condition can be Not blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, poisoned. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Uh, greater well, restoration can get rid of a curse, okay. and um, remove curse can get rid of a curse. Yeah, don't have either of those. Crap. And I guess we stay awake for an hour, as Isara said. Yep. After you say, as Isar said, you look over and you see Isar fucking passed out. <laughs> wow. Is he, is Alina's asleep as well. <laughs> oh, uh, Alita's gonna check the engine, make sure that's all right. Yep, yep, the engine seems fine. All right. Everything okay? Everyone good? Good as I can be. I guess poking a sore. Make sure he's still all... <laughs> Oh, no, he's breathing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I just sits it. next to Sar and waits out. <laughs> yeah, actually tries to wrangle like a couple wolves so that she's kind of like in between them. <laughs> Five hundred dollar Marie. Yeah, the wolves will disappear after an hour. Yeah, you get all warm and cuddly, and then after an hour, the warmth is immediately gone. Alita, your pillow's ripped from underneath your head. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a pillow. I just ha I just have some cozy blankets. The Maybe this is why Alita's so pissed off all the time. She doesn't sleep with a pillow. <laughs> just sleeps on the floor. Amazing um, posture. She doesn't but sleep. Like... She can't taste food. And she feels chronic pain. She's a, she's a, she has a lot of reasons to be mad. <laughs> Tried smoking weed. <laughs> you or a loved one has been affected by mesothelioma. <laughs> um, yeah, you all finish your long rest and get back Woo! all of your stuff. But if you failed your con save for that exhaustion, you do not lose a point of exhaustion upon completing the rest. So. Which con save? The one... Oh, so which... I, that's there. all of you. All, all of you still of have... Armor, how does that work? For uh, you get gaining? one quarter of your hit dice. All okay, of us so still what? I only used one, so... All of you still have your point of exhaustion. Wait, I... Did we have I a point know. of exhaustion? If you had a point of exhaustion. If you failed. Oh, okay. No. If you failed. Okay. Yeah. So it was... Uh, Alita's at two, loses at one. Yeah. Audio, did yep. you fail? Nope. No, okay, so, yeah. It's just loses at one and Adi and Elite is at two. Sure. sure. Um, what was the question? What Are was you... Oh, the, yeah, hold on. Sleeping in armor. <laughs> I think it's one quarter. Sleeping in armor, 5e. Uh, Xanthor's Guide, page 77. 
No adverse effects, but sleeping in medium or heavy armor makes it difficult to recover during a long rest when you finish a long rest. While you're wearing medium or heavy armor, you regain one quarter of your hit dice, and you do not lose exhaustion. Oh, sounds fine. Yeah, so you're level six, so you only get uh, one hit dice. Yeah, I only was missing one, so... Ah, cool. All right, yeah, you all get your long rest and awaken on the 12th of Majuro. All right. Or, uh, well, hopefully we don't run into those guys again. Is the body still where Isar left it after passing out? Yeah, the one you killed is still there. I mean, dragon probably wouldn't want this, right? No, no I, shot. I think it's the dragons, <laughs> perhaps. No, no, actually, no. Don't lie, never mind. Break sweat. I doubt it. Oh, well, it's time to stupid dragon get out of these damn caves. I agree. Caves do kind of suck. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so cold. If we had a campfire, it wouldn't be bad. Or some more tents? We should bring tents next time. That seemed like a good idea. I don't think tents are very expensive. I think we should do that. A tent okay, does bags. seem like a good idea. Tent and you have... How... I am broke, sir. How much money do you have? I have 35 gold. That's broke? That's more money than a farmer makes in three decades. That you is. just died last night. Well, not really. That's dramatic. But a uh, farmer's no, not fighting these have... things no, off. No, it's, it's not that dramatic. Accurate. It barely. No, no guys, don't worry. It because... barely touched me. <laughs> uh, Sar looked You're fine when he came back a to the tent, camp. I, I... A tent costs like five silver. Eileen puts her hand out. I'm not giving you five silver. You have 35 gold. Do you know how much silver that is? Eileen blows breath out of her mouth. So cold. I'm not going to give you the money now. <sighs> is it calculating? Um. <laughs> Isar, Isar thinks about how much a tent costs and then throws throws Eileen two gold. A tent would be two gold pieces. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank Please. you, sir. I feel like I feel like Isar would be fairly familiar with with the prices given Why? the family. Alita looks to Isar because you are a weak man. <laughs> <laughs> Isar just like kind of thousand yard stare at the ground and just nods. <laughs> oh. What if Alita, I mean, what if Eileen decides when we get a tent that she doesn't have? She doesn't have what? What? Money for the tent. He just gave me money for the tent. But are you going to pretend again? Why would I when do? When we have to get. No. He has the money now. Yeah, they gave him the money. <laughs> I mean, I mean, doing this now, it's like, you know, Eileen's not going to go turn around and just spend that on like booze or something. Idea blinks at you. <laughs> Isar looks at Eileen. <laughs> no. We have an agreement. Right. We've been we've been traveling together for a long time. I haven't taken that much. What? What we've been that traveling much? together forever. Yeah, I mean he buys food sometimes. Times. Most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> Almost all of the time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> but I mean just kind of how it's how our work relationship goes, you know. I'm kind of his chaperone; he has to pay for me. Yeah, Lee looks like very confused. <laughs> yeah, Adi is just staring it's hard. at all, they've, both they've, of you. They've sang this song and danced so many times that just Isar doesn't respond to it at this point. <laughs> well, to the east, I guess. On that note. All right. That sucked. Um, all of you mark off a ration, or if you're gonna cast good berry, you could do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, can I have marked one off for the day before? Well? Do people want yeah. good berries? I do. Okay. I have, I have no rations. So, marked off two. Leah doesn't four need one. Well, here, I think I also have rations. I have rations. You can have one of my rations. 
And then oh, I can you. save a spell slot. Thank you. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, Does uh, uh, Eileen do of rations? Do I need them? Yep. Oh. I believe you need to eat. Oh, I thought I didn't have to. Uh, right? Or do you not? I forgot. I don't know. I have deathless nature. I don't know what it does, though. I do have... That you don't have to breathe? I have 10 rations. Deathless nature. Yeah, you, death nat deathless nature is you just don't need to breathe. You still need oh, to eat. Oh, got it. Okay. You just can scarf yeah. down food without ever breathing. Just mark off two rations. There we go. I cast light on his stars. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> You cut off when you said I cast it on SRs. Pan. <laughs> Pan. Less fun, but we'll take it. I don't want to touch his cock. Cock. <laughs> cock. 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 <laughs> wow. Right, well, that's a New Jersey accent we were looking for. Cock. Cock. Good game out there, The SR. least sexy accent in the fucking world. <laughs> <Cock>. <laughs> You all continue to As travel. Isar looks down at yeah. his glowing box, he's just like, I should invest in a, in a lantern of some sort that just attaches to my waist at this point. That's a smart idea. Do they make those? I I have no <laughs> idea how Isar fared yesterday. We didn't talk about it. He just passed out, so... Uh, Adia, make your uh, cartographer tools check. Yes, please. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's all oh, going God. down here now. Can I add uh, the <laughs> thingy to it? The Can psionic. It? The thingy? I add the thingy. Using a skill or tool with which you have proficiency, you can roll one psionic energy die. Okay. 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 11. You get about th halfway, three quarters of the way through the day as you travel. Uh, running into a few dead ends and having to turn around, double back, takes up some time. But eventually, about five or six hours into your travel for the day, you make it to a large arcing cavern that you can see before you. It sort of opens up into a crested staircase that leads upward and then a large archway uh, that is cut into the stone. And it looks like obelisks have been cut away very deliberately in order to create this like pillared effect holding up the archway uh it seems as though you have crested into what looks like some sort of very large creature's entrance to a lair oh cool great yeah i hate the word lair <laughs> the word Why? i hate the word lair i don't which know maybe it's way? because it tells me that things have lair action well, we only need to worry about that if we fight it. Yeah, yeah but just we're don't not going fight to do. We're not how, here to fight. How does it smell, mm -hmm. Chris? Yeah. Uh, it it very... smells quite rotten. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like the, stro like the strongest <laughs> we've seen, we smelled it? Um, It was pretty strong when you were fighting those things as well. But uh, it, it's pretty equi equivalent to when you were fighting those things. Okay. Um. The cold definitely keeps the smell at bay, but it's there. Well, should we call out to him? Mm -hmm. To them, or? I, sure. I don't think it could hurt at this point. Could also walk a little deeper. Maybe make him not come to his front door. I don't, I don't know how this works. Front entrance. I don't know if I want to intrude step this into art just shouts out Vizalunti. okay that's uh, it you wait for a little while as it sort of echoes through the tunnels and you begin to hear the sound of large footfalls uh. oh you lose <laughs> 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 You see a large clawed hand reach around one of the pillars and then step forward as before you a very large topaz dragon scales of bright 
and uh, fluorescent orange with bits of green streaks throughout a massive wingspan that stretches outwards and a large bludgeoning tool-like maul of a tail with little bits of tendrils that stick off the top of the head and a large fin that runs from the top of the head down all the way to the spine and little bits of spiny looking things coming off the bottom of the jaw also very bright orange in color you see before you Visalunti, the future of dust Ooh. Ooh. looks like an ally to me right oh. and steps forward and looks out at each and every single one of you who calls on the future of dust Isar goes, this one, and uh, motions <laughs> to Luz. Um, yeah, Luz looks up at Vizalunti with um, very wide, wide eyes. Pardon our intrusion, but we were hoping to gain an audience with for uh, what exchange a bother. of knowledge. Exchange of knowledge. Tiresome. What would you wish to exchange? Well, and I look over at Isar. Excuse me? What? Eileen <laughs> <laughs> can... looks at Luz. Yeah, <laughs> uh, didn't she say you had a Book. I thought we mm. all agreed that that wasn't going to be something he was interested in. Um, perhaps I thought that was you, what we were. Uh, Master Vizalunti, perhaps you have something that you needed to be done, so we can do that in exchange for any information you. Our exchange or our services. Yes. You come to me looking for gifts out of the kindness of my heart without knowing what to give in return, asking of me to task you. How rude. Luz looks over at Isara again. Yes? Where are the manners the... of mortals? Well, the Archdruid did say here? he would be grumpy. Hmm. What, what, you, what about he points at uh, USR with a large huh? claw Ooh. yes you are a pharisee god moth are you not Luz looks at USR like ah! I I am I could smell you what does that mean? What do I, what do I smell like? Stinky. Nothing. <laughs> Stinky. Nah. So. <laughs> is our furrows his brow? <laughs> I've met one of your kind before. Sought me out on how to perform the right. Do you come seeking more information about your order. That wasn't my intent. Good. <laughs> um. Good. I find your kind tiresome. I. If I may interrupt, then I suppose you would not like the book about the far seek on what that. He told, but I was told by the Archdruid of the Twilight Grove that you may have answers about the consumption of souls. Hmm. I am aware of Sia Liren and the Twilight Circle. Yes, well... There's quite a disturbance there at the moment. Hey, Dad. I shall make you a deal. 
Yes. What? What? I'm feeling in a giving mood. I will speak on one topic if you can entertain me in any way that you think would. If you do not have a way that you can entertain me, I can give you a way. Oh, no. Um... May we have a few minutes to prepare? <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Oh, God. Okay, I turn around. I huddle up. I huddle up, huddle up. <laughs> Adia huddles up, but she's confused. She's like, what, what how, are we how doing? How are we going to entertain an ancient dragon that's clearly very grumpy and doesn't I don't know. Yeah. I thought maybe you might know. <laughs> how would I know? Do you think maybe he wants a massage and maybe some tea and cookies? I have a bouquet of flowers. No. And what? I... He, he's an ancient dragon. He has whatever he wants. Maybe flowers I... are, like, rare down here. And maybe it's the thought that counts and not the material value. But what if they brought... Maybe. Yeah. Okay, I have a feeling the way he wants to entertain or be entertained, I mean, like, the alternative that he mentioned is probably him just attacking us. Yes. That doesn't sound fun. That and killing us and using us as dead end thralls. Make, make an insight check. He um, seems a little bit too tired to do that. Uh, we're not, we're I not got... 18. I got a lot. I got a very good roll. He, he didn't give the sense of that he would just attack you or kill you if you couldn't think of a way. It seemed a little bit more tongue-in-cheek. Like, he has something that he knows would entertain him that he would like to have you do. Or have happened. I see. What if, if you can't think of anything? What if we make a I... um uh, a scene uh a scene against each other? We fight against each other, but like we plan yeah. everything out. Is he really going to be entertained by that? That's... That sounds fun, doesn't I... it? Well, maybe we just ask him what he would be entertained by. I don't think I he guess. would like well, that. He's probably just going to give us the idea he already has. I. Eileen, you can do fancy things with your guns, right? Uh, I have some metal scrap and a lot of feathers. We could make, like, some chicken wings and put them on a sar, and the sar could, like, Why? run towards him. Well, I'm trying to be entertaining. That feels slightly more offensive. Oh. To me. <laughs> oh, no, they'd be cool looking. They'd um, be feathers. Well, I do could, cool I could things read with his, my gun. I can I could shoot. Read his... Uh, Visalinti <laughs> returns. Just... Uh, Visalinti <laughs> had turned around and uh, walked away for a few moments and God then damn it. returns. And you see hovering next to him in sort of a uh, psionic barrier is a small object that floats down uh, probably about halfway between you and him and just lands on the ground. It is a small satchel, leather satchel. And uh, he places it onto the ground. Barring your ability to entertain me, you may use this, and I would see that suitable to speak on one topic. What can I what tell is it, what, what this it bag is? Like? It's just a leather satchel. It's closed. Like a, nor a normal leather satchel. It's a closed leather satchel. <laughs> Adia's, Adia's oh, no. immediately grabbing it. She's like, oh, God. Oh, no. She's grabbing it and opening it. She's very curious. Oh, no. uh, you grab it and open it, and inside you see a deck of cards. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. No, no. no, no. I knew what it was going to be. I does, Adia, does Adia recognize it? Does Adia make an arcana check? Oh, she, she's, she's definitely heard stories about this shit. She has to have. 18. Uh, this, immediately in your head, you panic as you look at it, as you're like, I've heard stories of the deck of many things, a reality-breaking and altering artifact of great, powerful magic. Uh, you sigh with relief as you realize this is not it. Uh, this is a lesser version of it, a less severe version, still quite powerful magic, but this is a deck of several things. It is 
less severe in terms of its outcome, but still can be quite dangerous or quite beneficial, one or the other, and is random entirely. But um, you recognize it as a deck of several things. As Vizalunti sees you open it, simply draw one card from the deck, and after the outcome, I will speak on one topic of your choosing. Um, I, I, I can do it. Uh, don't want to. I, I could. I assume is. that you have no thoughts of your own then, and we will be falling back to my idea. Well, my I only thoughts, thoughts had to do with, well, animals and possibly reading cards and your future, but there are no stars down here, so that kind of inhibits a little bit of my possibility. <laughs> you read my future. Well. Amusing. Oh. Would you oh. would you like to do that then? Young mortal, I read the future of eons every <laughs> year. Looking up at the stars beyond your comprehension. <laughs> you think you could tell me something I don't know about the future and the stars? When was the last time you saw the stars? It has been a few months. A lot has changed in a few months. And that is the entertaining part. Each year, seeing how things have changed, and you wish to take that from me. So then you're entertained. When I leave every year to look at the stars, yes. You seek to spoil the occurrences that have happened in the past few months. Lita, do you have any illusion stuff? Uh, okay. I, I, I'll pull from it. I have. That was the idea. <laughs> well, I was thinking if we could like refract Perfect, yeah. the light through the amethyst, maybe make some stars. He said the stars are entertaining. I don't. I don't. I, th I don't think it's the stars themselves that interest him. Then we'll pull from the deck. Isar holds his hand out to Adia. Why is it just... You have the deck, uh, right? Yep, Adia just looks at the deck, looks at you, and then pulls out a card. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's The whole time you guys have been talking, she's been carefully trying to figure out what question to ask, but she, she, she says, you know what, fuck it, just pull out a card. <laughs> okay. Roll a d22. Oh boy. D22? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they do it in roll 20. Yeah. Why 22? There are 22 cards. Oh, 13 is never a good number. Yeah, but that's me. That's my that's my luck, isn't it? Hey, you haven't have you seen Alita this session? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have. Lucky 13. Come on, what is it? <laughs> yeah, I'm interested to see what. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh no, what's Chris oh, laughing no. about? <laughs> Am I able to ask a question? Is that the question? <laughs> you lose your voice. Hold on. Oh no, what, what am I going to turn into? Am I turning into something? Turns into a cat. <laughs> but just like, cat. Okay. What are you typing? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> uh, Adia, you draw a card for the deck, and mm -hmm. you see blazing red flames crawling up the sides of the cards, and the look of a devilish horned creature just glaring up at you. Oh no! And the eyes lock with yours, and they, the f eyes flash a bright red before the card 
disappears. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh um, no, oh no. You gain the sense that somewhere within the hells, there is a bone devil that now seeks your destruction and suffering. <laughs> Until it is destroyed or you are. Adia's ears just suddenly go very flat against her head. Her tail poofs up to maximum poof. And she says, oh. Well, Vizalinti we, we had... starts laughing. <laughs> we, had to, we had to go to the hells of the so. How entertaining. Uh, how does it feel to know your imminent doom lies at any moment? <laughs> well, uh, you think I can ask the Bone Devil some questions before I die? Perhaps if it'll uh, allow you that luxury. But you have earned one topic of discussion from me. Oh um, shit. Are you I, gonna... I, I look at the others. What do you want me to ask? She's like looking in, looking in your faces. What do you want me to ask? The consumption of souls. How do people what can do that at a high oh. fast rate? Oh. She remembers that, <laughs> and then she turns back to Vizalint. Um, what causes, or what can make the stars disappear at a rapid rate? Is What can make the stars disappear at a well, rapid what, rate? What, what, what creature? I what say. is causing the stars? Yeah. Okay, sorry. What, what is, is causing the stars to disappear at a very quick and alarming rate? Hmm. An interesting topic. Well, as far as I can see and understand, there is some creature that is trying to mimic what the Spirit Usher did many years ago, during the Second Era and the First Era, consuming and destroying mortal and immortal souls to gain power. Um... But... That would be have to be someone with very much... a lot of magical knowledge. Or oh, an innate understanding. But yes, this knowledge was thought to be lost and known by very few, but there are some who are as old as time that may remember. The grand titans of old that still lie dormant recovering strength who were cast out and slain long, long ago that even the Concord was unable to resurrect fully. Oh. It appears to me that one of these Grand Titans, I know not which, has learned the secret of how the spirit Usher Danak was able to do this and cultivate these souls and destroy them to gain power. Wow. Okay. Yeah, wow. Um, okay, fuck. That's, that's kind of big. That's kind of heavy. Um. There's too many questions. God. He holds out the cards. <laughs> well, I mean, this is, it's a topic, this right? A topic. It's multiple questions, just one topic. Yeah, that's what he said. That is oh. what he said. Yeah, so. Out. How do you do you know how many Grand Titans are out there? How many of these or or a way of identifying them, locating them? 
matters beyond the scope of what you drew for. Damn. Um. Does it seem like he knows? Like, does it seem like he actually knows who specifically might be responsible for this? Make an insight check. I'm going to use restore balance, so I don't roll at disadvantage. Okay. Um, and is this, this is an ability check, yeah? So, yeah. um, I'm going to give you one of my wheels for the day. Unless you want me to re-roll, I can re-roll my wheel or whoa. I, I don't know what that means, but sure. It's fine. Oh, okay, so it's a, still a wheel. Add a d6 to that roll. All right. Uh, that is an 11 plus the d6 for two, so that makes that a 13, but then... I'm going to use knowledge of the past to add another d6 to it. Or a four. Plus my insight bonus, <laughs> which is three. So for a total, that is 11, 13, 17 for a 20 total. Nice. Look at that. Unfortunately, you are not able to gain insight Fuck. in Tom yeah. Dragon. Hoop. Hmm. Uh. You're not sure if if he knows or not. Is there a ritual to consume souls, or can it be just an innate consumption? I do not know the process. That was locked behind Dinok. E and his fall. E I am not so old to have been around during the Spirit Usher's lifespan. And so, do you... are we certain that it's one entity that is behind the stars disappearing, or is it multiple? I am not positive. I simply have observed the stars and observed the pattern that has similarities to what happened during the first and second era from my studies. Everybody paints the Spirit Asher as a villain. They hold him to all of these evils without knowing his story and why he committed such things. Everyone is so quick to judge the Spirit Usher. Dismiss him, vilify him, without understanding what he went through. If you were not around for his life, then what you know of the Spirit Usher? I have studied the creation mythos across the years of my kin and through the stars. What do you know of creation? Next to nothing. The gods were made from the world tree. The three cardinals coming first. The old god, the abiding witness, and the enduring dark. After their creation, they decided to make more gods and pluck other crystals from the world tree, creating all of the other gods. Now, the gods were not some random creatures and beings. They embodied the entirety of what they represented. The deft artisan was art, was craft, was creation of fine things and sought to make. The Batodoyan was honor and war, righteousness and battle, they embodied their domains, chose their own paths, decided their own fates, and created their own realms. 
arms. They did not feel the need to lash out. They did not even feel the need to name themselves because they were what they embodied. The Enduring Dark was darkness. The All God was the protector. The first song was music and creation. There was one God that was different. The other gods made and forced into existence. The Spirit Usher. Desiring another god to take care of the dead of their creations and maintain the cycle of life and death. He did not choose his path. He did not choose his domain. It was forced upon him. He did not get to pick what he would be, he was told. The only choice he got to make was what he would call himself. His name. The only God to have one. The only God that felt the need to have one. Dinoc. He is vilified and detested for taking and destroying the souls of immortals and mortals. But he did not choose the station of ever loneliness. He did not choose the life to be feared and hated. Anyone who would see him in death would fear and despise and curse, ever having to meet him. Nobody wants to deal and meet with death, for that is the end. The other gods were loved and cherished for what they were. Dinoc was hated for what he was forced to be. And so he sought a way out of it by gathering enough strength to oppose all of the other gods. He shirked his duties and denied his station. He committed atrocities, but you must understand why. If you were forced into that position, if you were forced to be that for all eternity, would it not drive you mad, fill you with rage and resentment? The cold wind decided to take over and destroy the spirit usher, absorb him, become one with him. Now the God of Death making the choice to be so. Restoring balance. But I do not blame or hate or vilify the spirit Asha Denok. I understand his charge. And you got all this from research? Eons of passed down information from my kind, ancient texts and knowledge, reading in the stars, the history of the past and the future. Yeah, Luz, Luz is thinking because I don't think that even if you were dealt a crappy card that that means you have to turn around and use others to get to what you want. Have you lived for thousands of years hated for no. what you were forced to do? Then do not speak as though you have experience. 
I was not trying to. I was just placed my opinion. But that, obviously, is not much in comparison to mortal. Whatever creature is trying to imitate Dinoc is quite dangerous to be able to do the same as him. And no doubt quite powerful. I do not know how a creature would gather this information and method. As I thought previously, it was only possible for a deity to accomplish. That is the end of that topic. Either leave or draw another card. I look at everyone. Who's to you? Want to see, inquire about the light of the of the twilight circle? Didn't didn't we find out that that was a symptom of the greater problem? Perhaps, but we we might be able to ask more, possibly a solution to it. Uh, one more. Question, uh, Master Resolunti, before we move on, just from the topic, I, I know you said it was the end, I, I apologize, but if Dunok was able to accomplish what he was trying to do, and I suppose that Grand Titan is trying to do, what would have happened? What would have Dunok have done once he got all the power he needed? I don't know what the machinations of a deity were all. The cold wind used all of the power that he gathered to create the divine barrier. Locking all of the gods out of the material plane. If that energy and that strength and power could be able to lock out every single deity from an entire plane of existence. I'm sure it could have done great and terrible things. I see. Thank you. Yeah, Liz is silent and Isar's brow is furrowed. He's staring at the deck and back at Visalinti and thinking about what this dragon might know about Farsi Kalmat. Mm -hmm. There is something I have in mind that I would, a topic I would like to look into, but I don't I don't know if I if it's the polite thing to say is Loose if you want to continue forward, but I d I'm not sure what's going to happen with each of these cards and what the cost might be. Do you want? Do you wish to talk about the Twilight Circle before my questions, or would you like to do that after? No. What you need to learn about is very. Oh. All right. Uh, Alita will take a card. Roll yeah, a d22. Let's go. At least you won't have a fucking bone devil after you. <laughs> after the day, Alita. Did the card had... disappear? Yeah. The one that. It repopulates the deck. After the, after the day Alita's had, what? Well, how could this get any worse? <laughs> you, can, you can always get 17. worse. Seventeen. You did a D twenty one. Should be a D twenty two. Yeah. Well, D twenty two. Oh, I thought like it a repopulates. Card. The cards That's repopulate when after they disappear. Gotcha. Or. Oh. That, 
that's probably not too bad, right? Yeah. They're they're not in severity of number. They're random. Yeah. I, yeah. I know, but still. It still feels Let bad have... to get a low number. Yeah. Let me have some hope. Um, you pull the card, and as you look at it, is a blank, dark sky, oh, and no. then you oh. see burst out from it a flaming sphere a birth of a star erupting into the darkness of the night burning brightly flare shooting out from it burning hot and yellow shedding light into the darkness before it disappears uh you drew this uh card of stars you are able to increase one ability score by one. Whoa! Big. Oh. I got no. Uh, oh, oh, I. Hmm. I'm gonna do dexterity. Okay. Increasing from thirteen to fourteen. Well, I currently right. have a rune crest that boosts that by one, but I'm gonna probably like swap that to wisdom. All right. You can increase one of your ability scores permanently by one. All right, nice. Uh, uh, Vizalinti looks slightly amused from your fear as you took the card and then the relief that washed over you and gives a small smirk. <laughs> Lucky. And uh, Alita probably isn't wearing her illusion out all the way out here. And uh, she'll kind of like probably like take off her mask as well. The entity that did this to me, this alteration to myself. The Iron Shepherd. Oh. Oh. Alita, like, stops when he says that name. I... You're familiar with them. Yes. Hmm. Do you know of a way to reverse this alteration? Hmm. Vizalunti gives a deep, drawn-out sigh and furrows their brows in contemplation. The Iron Shepherd is a parasite. Taking vitality from living mortals in order to refuel itself and recreate itself after being destroyed during the time of Titans. It is attempting to rebuild in order to come back. It appears that you have fallen trapped to that and it is siphoning life from you in order to rebuild. A specific way to remove this malady, I am not entirely positive, but it would require some great magic in order to remove its blood from your system. The blood of the Iron Shepherd is how it poisons mortals. I'm afraid I do not know an exact way or mode you could perhaps try hmm some sort of divine magic that is more powerful than titans magic of the gods of magic perhaps the white rune the red cabal or the black hex Something involving their realms, the astral sea, and magic itself. Alita just kind of mutters to herself, of course. Do you think the Iron Shepherd might be responsible for the disappearing stars? Or Perhaps. Possible. The Iron Shepherd was a general to some of the great titans. I'm not exactly sure which one. 
but I believe Fionn Shepard was a general to one of them. I'm sorry, a general to who? Of one of the Grand Titans. Hmm. Well, he's kind of kind of blinking at that, uh, a little surprised. Um, she is going to think a little bit. How many fragments of the Iron Shepherd are there? Too many for me to count or know of. They are spread far and wide to gather as many mortals as possible like cattle. He's going to think a little bit more. Uh, yeah, like, I think that's about all Lita can think of. To, she's just going to give a slight bow and thank you. This our staring. Visalunti, you said you knew of the Farseek? I do not see a card in your hand. Isar pulls a card. Oh, here we go. Roll a d22. I, I love Chris smiles Three. each time we see her pulling out a card. <laughs> it's so much joy. Hmm. Interesting. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like that. I don't like. I don't like interesting. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay. I feel like Isar's going on a wild ride. I don't think Isar's staying in this area. Hang on a sec. I need to look it through some stuff. Oh no. <laughs> oh what boy. What does that mean? While well, while he's doing that, other topics we can ask. How to open how to open up a portal to the hells. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everybody's drawing cards tonight. Uh, there was the how to cure the blight, and there was one other in my head. Oh yeah, how to identify what who is making the stars go away. That's that's a lot of cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's too many cards. I think this should be the last card, probably. I mean, Adia especially with how Chris said, "interesting." I Only think. if you're Adia, a coward. Adia might pull out another card. <laughs> oh, cloud. <laughs> yeah. Can you roll me a D one hundred and eighty four? One hundred and eighty four. Um. <laughs> what does that uh -oh. mean? One hundred and forty eight. Okay, give me a minute. What? Did I get the two two effects? Is that what's going on? Ha. 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 What a wild way to end the session, guys. What an interesting way. No, I still have my card. <laughs> Unless something drastic happens. I think something drastic is about to happen. 
I don't think it starts getting to ask his question. This might be a find out next time. Yes, yeah, Chris is thinking about this real hard. Wait, is is the next time gonna be like two weeks? Two weeks from now, or no, one week. Uh, one week. Uh, all right, Isar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you pull a card from the deck, and you see appear before you <clears throat> a dark night sky as well, and then slowly shifting into focus is the red moon, ATB. You can see bits and craters of its scarred surface with a slight glowing pulse of red energy, constantly emanating arcane magic, the incarnation of the red cabal in the material plane and its manifestation in the world. You've drawn the moon card <clears throat> um, until further notice, you are able to cast the Storm Sphere spell <laughs> uh, once per long rest. Fucking what? What the hell is that? What is the spell? Storm Sphere. Storm Sphere. Fourth, fourth level spell. Uh, you can cast it once per long rest, but each time you use it, there's a chance you'll never be able to cast it again. Okay. Twenty foot oh. radius sphere whirling of whirling air springs into existence, centered on a point you choose within range. The sphere remains for the spell's duration. Each creature in the sphere, when it appears or that ends its turn, must succeed on a strength saving throw or take two d6 bludgeoning damage. The sphere's face is difficult terrain. Uh, you can use a bonus action to cause a bolt of lightning to leap from the center of the sphere towards one creature within 60 feet. Make a Yo. range spell Damn. attack. You have advantage on the attack roll if the target is in the sphere. On a hit, it takes 4d6 lightning damage. Yo, <laughs> yo, what? Why the fuck am I... <laughs> Yeah, each time you use it, there's a cumul cumulatively increasing chance that you never cast it again. Gotcha. We'll use it when you... Okay, well, I'm going to add that to my fucking sheet um, now, I guess. Yeah, you feel crackling electricity run through your body and like a surge of energy as the moon card disappears from your hand. Ah. What ah. a strange one to receive that... for one such as yourself. That was strange. I guess you can count yourself lucky. Cries. <laughs> I I honestly was expecting the worst there. Uh, what what do you know of of the far sea? What I know that's vague. I I have next to no information on that beyond the initial ritual. That is a very broad topic. Okay, let's go more specific. Is there a way to reverse it? Oh. What instance of it? The burning of my soul. That has already been done. If you're seeking... A solution, perhaps, you cannot regain your soul. You cannot take back the deal you have made. But since you no longer possess a mortal soul as such, that means that there is now room. You could obtain an immortal soul. How? Uh, 
There are perhaps many different ways, none that I am fairly versed in. But it would require a great feat, either gifted by the life giver or the cold wind, taken from another in some way, ritual, form of magic. There are many different possibilities. But you have an open husk of yourself where a soul once resided. It could be replaced, not with a mortal one, but you could, in theory, find a way to introduce an immortal soul. I see. This are kind of looks at Eileen. How's Eileen doing? Eileen's just watching everybody pull these cards. Um... Huh. A question. Do uh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I before yeah, never mind. Sorry. I put myself on the line. I didn't no, interrupt no, you. No, no, no. I mean, I was, I was trying to like, it was associated to your question. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ask, ask, ask. The, the topic. About the Farsik Amwat ritual, we had hints that once. One soul was consumed, it will start affecting others? Was there any truth to that, or will it happen? The Pharisee God mocked. Burn it, the souls of mortals for power. It is one of the most ancient rites that mortals could use to gain abilities and strength to fight against the first beings, to level the playing field before they were versed in arcane magic. There was necromancy and the use of their own life force. The energy and consumption to fuel his power, and the power of other Pharisee Galmont, stems from traveling down your branching lifeline and soul essence. Whenever a soul is lived by a mortal, it branches out and creates more, cultivating. Reaching backwards now from your soul, no more will be created, and all of the branching spirits that have been cultivated will begin to be singed shut and travel down the line. Small on the grand scheme of things, but still an interesting moral decision. Not too dissimilar from what that Grand Titan is doing, but on a much larger scale. How... how would the immortal soul affect that? Possessing an immortal soul would allow you to burn it instead of the souls of other mortals. That is a power that was never able to be granted to an immortal because of its nature and its vast requirements. But if you were to acquire the immortal soul after, you could force it into that soul. It cannot be placed onto a soul, but the soul can be placed onto it. Out of character. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it would effectively stop you the um, power from reaching outward to anybody else. So, so it would like if we're looking at it right now, it's an uncontrolled wildfire that is just slowly spreading yeah. outwards. If we slotted in an immortal soul, it would no longer spread. Pretty much, effectively. yeah. It's it's there was in order to become a fire seek element, you need to have a mortal soul because it is fueled by 
the burning of mortal souls and it was specifically designed in right that it would be unable to attach to an immortal soul but if immortal an immortal souls, soul is put in after the fact it yeah. supersedes that and right exactly gotcha it's also okay. implying that what's burning right now is the branches or roots of the soul that is our yeah yeah earth, we, right yeah. so that means so other soul so that means other souls that are existing right now could be well, from from how I understood it when Chris first okay. explained it, yeah. it will burn through my line first before yeah. spreading out to other lines. Like okay. like so, it'll it'll go up, up, up until there's no more up, and then it will start going outward. Oh, okay. Also, yeah, yeah also. and it's also not like a wildfire. It's not super super fast. You know, like it's, it's not incense. it's not eating hundreds of souls a day. It's, it's one incense. person, so it's quite slow. It's just a moral thought experiment. Okay. It's not like you're destroying hundreds and hundreds of souls like <laughs> a Grand Titan would be by eating and consuming and garnering their power. It's a okay. much smaller scale. Okay. Um. It's more so, are you okay with the knowledge that you are destroying future lives in order to gain your abilities? even on the small scale. Which is where I, and by extension, Isar are getting to the wildfire uh, analogy. Yeah. Because with a wildfire, it's burning living things, but from those ashes, more can still grow, where, you know, if I use this power for, for yeah. good, I'm in the, the grander scheme of things, protecting. Right. Even at the expense of it. Mm-hmm. Uh... Well, that's a lot to think about. Um, why do you hate us so much? I do Farsi. not hate. Uh, dislike. I wouldn't Perturbed even by. say I dislike the Pharisee Garmont. Disgruntled. I respect their choice. They very much remind me of the spirit, Asha. A difficult decision in order to accomplish something important to them. I do not dislike or hold them to any sort of villain status. I find them interesting but that does not mean that i endorse what they do either similar to the spirit usher i see oh. you said the cold wind could view me should he decide to perhaps I don't the cold wind has never given a mortal an immortal soul though from how he talked to me I don't think he would for any as far as I'm aware at least ah. well that's a lot to think about. The spirit Usher has. At least from what I've heard in the past. The god of death used to imbue some mortals with immortal souls. Deeming them worthy enough for them. Perhaps it is not out of the question even if it has not been done before by the current god of death. As far as I am aware, perhaps he could have done it without my knowledge. I do not claim to be omniscient. You've given me much to think of. Thank you. Can't think of anything else to ask. Could inquire, like I said earlier, about 
trying to figure out to, to identify whatever Titan is responsible for the stars. He did say he doesn't know. Well, didn't he say that he had a method to find out? Mm, nope. No. I might be thinking of something different. All right. Oh. You ask about how to get to Micah. I feel like there's various ways we are able to open yeah. the gates of hell. <laughs> But maybe find him will be more difficult, but there are ways, I feel like. It has been done before. <laughs> As Lunti starts to kind of chuckle under his breath, I'm sure you'll have a very welcome guest waiting for you when you get there. Looking at uh, you, Radia. She sighs. <laughs> Would it amuse you to see us go there? What? We're not... The play toys! And just looks at you with a raised eyebrow. How so? Yeah. Well, I mean, would it amuse you not to see uh, Adia come face to face with Don't use the repercussions? Me as... The time? anticipation is often better than the result. I shall check in every once in a while. To see the fear in your heart. Show up as a bone devil randomly just to scare Whoa. the piss out of Anya. Ollie morphs into a bone devil. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it would be interesting to see a bone devil. Anya looks at the cards. <laughs> Does we anyone have, else? We have a friend who's taken in hell's by. Do we know who it was who took him? As mm -hmm. our looks at the group, uh, some some group. somebody made a deal with the pact broker, and we killed an immortal soul. He was a cleric of the cold wind. Uh, send the immortal soul back to the sticks, and then a demon hand came out and took him into the nine hells. Apparently, the archon was conducting a debt, some sort of deal between the pact broker and the. Luring avarice. Like, does this dragon care about our little Story weird time? experiences? Yeah. Seems to just be waiting for one of you to uh, either draw another card or leave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, unless we want to go into the twilight stuff, which we can. Um, but I also don't know if that's any information on that right now. I feel like we've pushed our luck. That's luck exactly really how I are. feel. I feel like nope, we have pushed nope. our luck. My luck I sucks anyway. I'm <laughs> I can pull again. I'm willing to do it. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone. You so... guys are going to get something bad. And I, I, already got some I already got something bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm I... looking at. I'm just gonna pull out a card. Oh, oh God! Uh, what are you gonna ask about? I was about to make a wisdom save to see if she, Alita would pull out a card or not. You guys, I just pull out a card. Roll a d22. She's a curious little shithead. <laughs> gonna bite her in the ass. Curiosity killed the cat. And satisfaction <laughs> brought it back. Twelve. Twelve? It's right, not the same as the other roll. Thirteen. I got thirteen. <laughs> right, at fucking twelve. Of course. Eileen is just in the back silently. A second us. bone devil. It's even funnier the second time. Uh, oh my god, Liz is just standing there, like staring off into the walls, just like, what the fuck is happening right now? Why are right my now? friends so dumb? We're doing no, this no, for you. you. No, she's doing this for her this time. I was going to say, I don't think this is for Luz. The first one was for Luz, and she took um, she took one for the team. Adia, you pull a card. And uh -huh. as you pull it, you see the bright starry realm of the astral plane. Oh. Magic oh, tethers no. spanning all through. Ethereal mass of magic swirling. And then a tear. Oh. A small cut 
that rips wide open. <laughs> and the deep, dark blackness of the void stares you in the face. Are you as fucking you, kidding me? As you stare into it, your eyes glaze over. The card disappears, and Adia drops to the ground unconscious. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, this is how and we that fucking, is fucking do it. That's how we fucking do it. That's how we fucking do it. That's how we fucking do it. Now we need to go to the fucking astral plane to get fucking Adia's soul back from the void. God fucking damn it, guys. You had, I we literally you. said, we said, I think said, our luck is up. Our I luck. think our luck our is luck up. luck is up. You fucker. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, that's where we'll end. That's my luck, you, you guys. You drew the void card. Yeah, I sure did. Of course I did. Yeah, this, I this, think... is, this is why I never go to casino. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah, because you, you, don't know when, <laughs> you don't know when to fold. So I guess oh, we're well, I also... a little side quest for Adia now. Uh... Yeah, no, we gonna... have to. Am I going to find, like, the, the... What was that thing that Jin was... had, a feel... had a friendship with? <laughs> void God? Yeah, am I, am I going to have, like, a Void God in my brain now? If I came, if I come back, <laughs> just, we'll see. I don't know. Like I, I mean, this thing isn't supposed to be as extreme as a normal deck of many things. So it well, might... well, fucking guess what? I came along and decided to pull two cards. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty Fuck sure Adia drew the worst card in the deck. Yeah. Are you kidding me? 